everyone, and welcome to a brand new continent, brand new story arc, all that good stuff at the very beginning. This is now Corvanus, a brand new continent in which I will give a brief overview, and then I'm going to give an overview of the current story that we are in, and then we will introduce our party members as it is such. So, let us begin, shall we? All right, hopefully this... Do you guys hear this? Yes. You guys hear that? Uh, not yet. No, no not, not yet. yet. I it's, don't hear it's anything. It's still loading. It's just the ambience for the moment. Um, I don't even have ambience now. So. Uh, the ambience is also gone for me since the restart. I'm fiddling with it. Hold on. Check your global volume, it might just be set to zero. Set to 50% for me. You guys don't hear anything? Okay. No, they're currently playing better. like the time is zero, 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 so it hasn't loaded yet. Yeah. Uh, Give it a minute. Eventually. We got a module to uh, fix this and everything, and it's. Of course, it doesn't work in the show. Of course. It's always like this. Don't worry, it's just we're we're, we're, we're ironing out the Nyx before it becomes a problem throughout the entire campaign. So it's gonna be a few a few hiccups with the first game. Yeah. Hey you guys. Is it uh, still not playing for you guys? Still not playing. Oh I can hear I can hear I can hear something. Hold on. No. Yeah, I can hear it, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Here it is. All right. <clears throat> Approximately 40 years have passed since the prismatic trials and the defeat of the enemy by the hands of the heroes of Kalkatesh. Indeed, the heroes of all of Arum. However, in this tumultuous time of peace, Several vacuums of power have erupted across the land. They're different continents, and this one is no different. For during the actions of the Prismatic Trial, for unknown reasons, the Church of Metheria, the undisputed ruler of the continent of Corvanus, fell from power and grace. The light diminishing. And in this weakened moment, the people of Corvanus with their various beliefs, agendas, and political aspirations, took up arms against their would-be oppressors, and for the most part, have driven the Church of Metheria out of much of the land. Despite this, many of the people still worship Metheria and hold to her teachings. The Church maintains what little influence it still has, but even this little influence is still a powerful blade to be used against those that are deemed heretical. Apostasy is still illegal in many of the different places of this continent. And as such, the old laws, as long as there is a church nearby, hold sway to the teachings of Metheria. One such teaching is quite clear apostasy the use of unordained magic is a result of those that would make pact with demon or even if they did not mean to bring ruin and despair to those that live amongst them and as such in many places of the world such beings are persecuted and in extreme cases executed. This is where our story begins. Six prisoners, nails hammered into their flesh as they hang from icy crucifixes. In the center of this execution pyre, a heavily armored knight reads 
from Etheria's texts, condoning all present to purification by suffering. All right. I was very sick. Okay, so we're going to do some character introductions here, and I'm going to do it through the, uh, let's call it the eulogy spoken by the individual at the center. And you guys see this. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's him. Oh, boy. He's back. All right. Take a gander at that, everybody. That is very nice deep, bro. Deeply upsetting, I love it. He has the ring. I want to punch his jawbones. What a nice looking guy. Okay. Looks so friendly. And so, uh, there are other minions here, but they are not important enough for tokens. Each one of you have been nailed up to these crucifixes, and during this entire time, by shifting in and out of consciousness, you have heard the sermon of the smiling knight in the center of the and the center of this of this uh, gallows. It is at this point, however, that the knight comes to the end of the eulogy. And so it is disdained that those that be hanged from the wood return to the earth and through her grace purified. By blood and by suffering, these are the gifts given to those that would seek redemption from their sinful natures. It is indeed through this constitution that one might prove thyself worthy of Mytheria's light. To suffer is to live, and to live is to live well. Hark, I say unto thee, those that practice such ill magics, even you, your souls, may yet be saved by the purifying hands of Mytheria. As at this point, that the smiling knight points to the first. To the first, you are offered credence, forgiveness. To run and flee from the church is to run and free yourself from your own salvation. And as such, your punishment is for your cowardice. All right, Colossus, go and introduce yourself and your character. Hello, I'm Colossus, and I'm going to play Simon again. He's ready for another chance. All right. Uh, Simon is nailed up to the crucifix and is covered in many scars from the time that he was hunted down far, far to the west. It would seem that his journey has been led here by the Smiling Knight in chains and in contrition for his cowardice. Unfortunately, a second attempt at escape has resulted in his execution. Unfortunately, Simon, moving in and out of consciousness, you can barely even register that the Smiling Knight has directly addressed you. The Knight moves on to the next, To some, they would seek to wield the hand of justice. But there can be no justice without the holy, prevailing light of Mytheria. And those that would consider them law keepers, but without her guiding light, are not but false prophets. And with that, Smiling Knight will gesture towards the next individual hanging on the crucifixes. All right, Radio, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. Hello, everybody. I am Radio, 
I will be playing Jonathan James Silva. I'm a bounty hunter, but unfortunately this time my bounties have brought me to an, an unfortunate location at an unfortunate time. JJ Silva, you hang from your crucifix and the nails tight in your flesh. Consciousness fleeting. You feel only cold and hear the panging metallic drone of the smiling knight's voice against his helmet. It's difficult to make out even what he is saying. For pain and cold within your body compete for who would kill you first. The smiling knight continues. There are yet those creatures still that within Metharia's light might find salvation. Those that have fought their best, done their greatest deeds that they could possibly be hoped to have wielded. To those that carry the name Orc, also carry with them Demon's Taint. And some would celebrate, perhaps even encourage, their resistance against their demonic influences. But there is only one resistance that is true and tested. Death must be dealt with corruption. And so we finish what was started with this one. All right, Balrock, introduce yourself and your character. Hello, I'm Egg. I'm playing Balrock. He's an orc, barbarian. And that's about it. <coughs> okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good. And with that... The Smiling Might will look upon the orc, his face covered by the steel of his mask. You'll notice that the knight lingers upon the orc for a moment before continuing the eulogy. While there are those that would struggle against the temptations within, and though they might fail, they at least fail with dignity. Some, however, give themselves in completely to their debauchery, to their lust, to their baser instincts. Those that ignore Metharia's teachings are unto they themselves of a heretical nature. And it is in this debauchery that this harlot might find salvation. Okay. Uh, all Let's right. This one. Go ahead and introduce yourself and your character, Silver. Hello. My name is Silver Siege, and uh, today I am playing Elsie Rowan, a rogue who, until recently, was contracted by the church. Until uh, one particular mission went bad, and they needed a scapegoat. And yes. That is an ass. <laughs> All right. The steel of the nails drive into your hands, Elsie. The cold bites at the extremities of your body. There is no hope here. Only the cold and morning wind. With that, the night will move its attention to the next... Some choose to ignore the teachings of Metharia. Others do not know her words. They come to this land spreading their own acts, their own religions. Ha! All but temptation of the ignorant. The misguided denizens of foreign shores have invaded Corvanus. They have come seeking refuge but they come with deafened ears and closed eyes. And here we shall set example 
A foreigner's blood will have to suffice for the purity of Mytheria's light. Alrighty. Cyber, please introduce yourself and your character. Hi, I'm Cyber, or Cyber the Wolf, and I'm playing Mazak in Blight. Um, she was working more or less forced for the church and ended up here now. For when the church tried to fall out of power, she tried to get away. Mazakin, the nails of the crucifix dig deep into your palms. You slouch forward, unable to summon forth the beast within. The metallic collar around your neck weighing you down even more. It is with good fortune that your true form was undiscovered, for you may yet face an even worse fate. And then finally, the smiling knight turns towards the final individual. The knight's hand grips his sword almost expectantly, almost as if tempted to end this by the iron. But despite his own hatred, will speak from the words of Mytheria instead. Finally, we come to the highest form of sin, the heretic. Whereas one might fall to the temptations of their flesh, and others might hide behind the veil of ignorance, there are those whose age and knowledge, gifts of some unforeseen forebearer, have granted them insight, but instead of using it, to further the light of Metheria, they use it to undermine her, to seek dark packs, to scream against the truth itself. Know this, druid. Whatever fate awaits you beyond the veil of life, I pray that even there Metheria may take mercy upon your twisted soul. Alrighty. Shamber, introduce yourself and your character. Hey everyone, my name is Shamber. I will be playing Fane, an elven druid, who, by nature of his birth and his creed, has been persecuted. And with that, the Smiling Knight will finish his eulogy. Brothers! Sisters of the light, watchers of the purity, seekers of redemption and succor, look here upon these foul creatures. Know that in this place, in this cold, forsaken land, their suffering shall grant their souls purchase into Metheria's bosom, into the light that we all shall seek. Do not pity for them, though your hearts may be stirred to do so. For this, this is the path that one must take to redemption. Alavis invent anvithari of us. The people there repeat these words. We leave them now in holy reflection. And to any that would seek redemption, I leave this tome here. The teachings of her words, may they guide your souls to a proper rest. And with that, the smiling knight and his men leave the execution grounds.
and here the biting cold and the twisting wind take their toll. Many of you cannot even feel the nails in your hands or the straps and binding twine of your feet. Piece by piece, death slowly twists its way into your flesh. However, we shall see if there is any fight amongst you. Everyone at this point, make me a constitution saving throw. Let's see, why is my con and dex backwards? And also, why is my con save a plus one? B plus three. Let's see, uh, 15. Hey, Simon, you doing all right there, buddy? Alrighty. <laughs> As the cold and the wind twist and whip and bite, Simon is the first to finally enter the deep sleep. His head slouches forward. His body can take no more. And the cold, like a whisper of death itself, twists around him. Elsie follows quickly behind. Her skin almost cracking against the cold, slouching forward. She too enters the deep sleep. One by one, each of you enter this sleep. Mazakine the next, then Balrak, then Silva, and the last to give in to the dark slumber, to the sleep of death, is Fane. In his last moments of consciousness, he hears something strange, the crunch of snow. before he, too, slumps forward. That really was the fastest TPK. There are many within the realm of Corvanus. Many, indeed, that face death the same way by the indifferent an unapologetic hand of the zealots of the Church of Metheria to the unforgiving exposure of the hard countryside of disease, famine, or brigand's blade. All face their death in the end. However, For you six, your story does not end here. You guys hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. got to be a world record. <laughs> and it is here, through the crunch of snow and the twist of wind, shadows darken the whitened snow as two individuals approach.
As these two individuals appear, one will turn to the other and will shake his head, and the other one will shrug. Fane, you feel the nails being removed from your hands. You slump forward into the warm embrace of a stranger who pulls you down from the crucifix. Mazakin, you feel the nails removed from your hands as you two are removed from the crucifix. Your eyes blink against the snow as you are suddenly covered in warm furs. Uh. Elsie, Balrock, each of you receive the same treatment. The nails removed from your hands, the bindings untwisted from your legs, and you are also placed in warm furs. Simon, we're not conscious. You're you're semi-conscious. Okay. Silva and Simon, the same for you. Your nails are removed, and you are placed into warm furs. The party is gathered up onto a pack of sleds. You can see or hear very little, <laughs> but you hear that there are two individuals, possibly more that are placing you within the furs and strapping you to the sleds. The sound of barking dogs can be heard, and you can see that the two shadows look at each other and nod in quiet whispers. They move you away from the place that would be your death. One of them stops and approaches the book. He will pick it up and will throw it into the snow. And so, they lead you down through the snow and into the wind below. Alrighty. One moment, please. So you're finally awake. Shirtless in the snow gang rise up. Me and Simon. Oh, same dude. <laughs> Maybe Simon and Paul Rock are all shirtless. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, first time? Oh uh, yeah, dude. Well, I suppose he made supremacy on that con save. He's a clap You guys see this wind effect? It's sick. Yeah, no, I yeah. love that, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Very cool. It's incredible. Really cool. I mentioned that before we started. Yeah. And the ambient music? Oh. I fucking love it, dude. Everything looks really, really nice. It's super pretty. Good stuff. Also, this theme um, was made by Krypton for the Pale City. But I liked it so much, I made it the main Corvada storytelling theme because I like it so much. Damn. Alrighty. <laughs> you find the awake. Actually, I'm asleep. Okay. Yeah. Alright, okay, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't we make a orc party? Okay. We all could have been all right. We TPK, we make orc. Okay. TPK, orc. Okay. Go to demon voice. Go to demon voice. Mm. 
All right, all right, calm down, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Better not have 30 seconds of silence or else people will start freaking out. <laughs> Gotta fill the silence, dude. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What do you think we're here for? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna scream in your ears. This is a very nice map. Ooh. Everybody loaded? Uh, yes. No. Yep. I love it. Let me know when you're loaded, Cyber. Excuse me. Everybody loaded now? No, I am. Just, just I am. start. Um, shouldn't take too long. Okay. And it's at this point that finally the snow seems to die down a little bit. And your two mysterious strangers drag you through the snow on sled until finally they arrive at the middle of a small encampment it's a ceiling tender love and care Ooh. We getting that cozy bonus. Yeah, bro. Elsie gets to sleep on the fucking ground. Harlot. What do they sleep? Usually on top of someone else. Okay. Nice. Oh, you sharing? Oh. We huddle oh. up like things. Yes. Stay warm. Yeah, me and Simmons. <laughs> me and Simmons staying cozy. Oh, yep. Quick, oh, yeah. share your warmth with me. Shirtless gang. Exactly, dude. Oh. 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 Oh, the wine. What happened to the tent? <laughs> it blew oh. away. The tent got pickpocketed. <laughs> That's weird. It won't, let, <laughs> it won't let chat see it. There we go. Okay. And the party is placed within a tent with warm furs covering their bodies and slowly they feel cold salves being applied to their hands. And then you slip in and out of an uneasy sleep. And now we'll see who gets to awaken first. Find you awake. Silva, your eyes open. Is that you, Autumn? One of the men will look over. Hey, Johon, one of them's awake. Hi there, friend. Take it mm. nice and easy. Mm. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm gonna jolt up. Like, uh, As you do so, you are racked with instant pain. Whoa there, friend. Take a moment. Settle back in. You're not even close to being well enough to get up and about. You're amongst friends. You're safe. Indeed! I'm currently cooking up something for you. So make no mistake. We'll make sure that you have a full belly as well soon enough. What about my family? Um. There were only the six of you. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my brow. Just like crossing my the bridge of my nose and just... Can you, can you tell us what happened? Or tell me at least? I barely know these people. I just know them from across. Well, you were being crucified, so that's where we found you. I am afraid that Johan and I have, well, little other information. Indeed, there have been a rash of such executions all throughout the Endless White. In fact, I dare say that this 
These brigands of churchgoers are doing their best to upset the balance at the ice flows. The King of Mornhal made it very clear in his truce that we are not to be under such persecution. Now's really not the time to, uh... Well, reciting your politics, Johan. I don't think the man cares that much about it. You're right, of course, you're right. I'll see what I can do about finding you something to eat. Before you leave, I do have a question about the king. Yes. What about it? What's the current situation in Mornhell? How long were we gone for? Well, I don't know how long you were strung up on those those dastardly crosses, but, well, it's, it's not good. It, it truly is not. The king is ill, and few have seen him. The prince the is doing what he can. Uh, I, I fear it will only be a, a matter of time before he, he dies, and the prince takes the throne, and then we have to deal with whatever dark fate awaits us from that convert. Thank you. That food would be nice. All right, Johan will exit the tent and we'll start to cook. Take it easy, friend. I'll have to attend to the others. And with that, Jonathan will turn around and we will see who else wakes up. Mazakine, your eyes open. <laughs> Are you all right? He'll offer you some water. Oh, thanks. I... She'll try. As she grabs it, she notices the well hole in her hand where the nail was. Well, there's a there's a salve over it now, but yeah. Oh. Were you the ones to take us off these wretched things? Aye, that we were. Me and my good friend Johan. He's outside. He's he's making you something to eat. Take it easy now. You've went through quite a lot. All right. Thank you. I feel... Sit more down. Drink the water. Look around. All right, as you look around the tent, you can see that it's it's pretty plain. You can see that there are other cots that have been set up with heavy furs wrapped over them. You can hear the sound of a few dogs outside. Uh, you can overhear their conversation as they are currently talking about how cold it is outside and how much they really want to eat one of these walruses. Yes. <laughs> Something I can... Relate to and agree with. Same dude. Walrus and that fatty blubber. Anyway, the man will see that you're kind of getting it together, and he will proceed to uh, make sure that your blankets are covered. He'll leave the water skin next to you, and he'll go to attend to some of the others. Alrighty. Elsie. Your body stirs and your eyes open. <laughs> easy, lass. Easy. Easy. He'll uh, offer you a water skin. Take a drink now. I'll gingerly take it in my hand, but I won't take a drink yet. This, I'll look around and see if there's anyone else there. As you look around, you can see only those that were strung up with you, captured nearly at the same time that you were by the Smiling Knight. You see that the tent is pretty plain, straightforward, a traveler's tent, but it is comfortable and warm. Mm. Okay. 
I'll take a drink. All right, seeing that you're drinking some water, he'll nod. All right. That's a good lass. Just take your time. Take your time. You've been through something terrible. You need time to heal. Tell me about it. Where are we? Well, right now you're in the fine company of myself and me good friend Johan. We're traveling merchants up from Shickletown. We were just traveling on through. Uh, we were going back up to Mornhow when we, well, we spotted your um, execution, as it were. Lazy fuckers. They're smart to have killed us on the spot, but I'm grateful that they haven't. Well, you know. They're all about their, um, their fancy executions, I guess. It's all the same to me. All the same evil. Indeed. Aye. Anyway. Make sure that you get some water in you. Johan's cooking up something real nice. Fane. Mm -hmm. Your eye is open. And I sit up a little bit. Look around. <clears throat> uh, notice that he's talking to Elsie and just look over my hands where the, the salve has been placed. Noticing that you are uh, stirring awake, Jonathan will approach you and offer you some water. There you go, lad. Get some water I'll, in you. I'll take it. And I'll kind of look him in the eyes and just go, why? Why did you cut us down? Well, because any decent person would. With people like that night around, there's, there's not a lot in it. It'll just kind of stammer off and just start drinking the water. You'll hand the water skin back. Just try and get warm. Aye, get settled in. Some food's being made for you right now. Balrock. Oh. You awaken. <laughs> and he's gonna turn over and just like spit up like a little bit of blood. Right. Balrock, as you look up from spitting up your blood, you can see that Jonathan has approached you with some water offered. Here you go, big fella. Get some water in you. I'm just going to snatch the glass. Or whatever it's being carried in. Just water snatch skin. whatever. The water skin. Water skin. Picture. Yeah. I'm going to snatch it. I'm just going to start drinking straight from it. No words given. There you go. Get that inside you. Some food's on the way. Go ahead. It's a roar. What'd you say? Did, did you not? No, I did not, I did not catch you. Your mic did not catch you. Oh, hold the on. Accent just... is too thick. Right. <laughs> did you catch that or no? No, no, I'm not catching anything. <laughs> I said right. <laughs> Oh, God. right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he'll take the water as Simon, you awaken. All right. Do I hear this, the dogs? Yes. Ah, ah. Did they find me? All right. As you, get up to try, as you get up to try and move, you fall over, almost unconscious, and Jonathan will catch you. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Now's not the time to be moving. They, 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 they know where they are. They know where, where I am. The dogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down. Here, have some water. Okay, he's gonna take some water. Uh, who are you? Are you with the church? Oh, no, 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 sir. Uh, my, my name is Jonathan Kill. Uh, 
my good friend Johan Kalakept is outside. He's making you all some food. Uh, we're traveling merchants up from Shickletown. Uh, we were traveling oh. through, and we saw that you were all strung up like dogs, and, well, we just couldn't have that. Oh. Uh, Simon, Simon's gonna sit down. <laughs> Mistake <Let's> quiet. <laughs> Right, at this point, Johan will enter with a large pot of stew and several <laughs> bowls. Or, or, excuse me, several spoons. Sorry, uh, we don't have very many bowls, but um, we have plenty of spoons. I'll put it here in the center, and you can take your turn eating your fill, yes? <sighs> oh, sure. All right, Jonathan will begin to feed everybody at their cots. Or not Jonathan, but Johan. Jonathan will then say, Hoping you don't mind, but um, while you're eating, if you could answer me and Johan's questions, we're curious to know who you are and how you got to where you were. And maybe we can help you get to where you're going. Okay. Don't forget tea for talking. Oh. Well, I think right now, I think the place we're going is at least away from where we were. All right. Well, Johan and I can see about getting you to Shickletown, maybe. It's, um, it's quite a trek, but I think we could get you there. Probably better than headed to hell at the moment. Mm. Anywhere is better than here, currently. Anything other than the clothes on our back? Is that a question? Yes. Uh, Johan and I are just merchants. We don't really have a lot to offer you, I'm afraid. We we deal in spices, you see. Understood. But you had questions yourself? Well, uh, who were you? Uh, where did you come from? Why were you strung up on a cross? My, my name is Fane. I was down in... The dead man's flow, I was working as a healer. Until I apparently did it a little too well. And I caught the eye of the church. And then I was on a cross. Jonathan will nod. Aye, that makes sense. So... Am I to take it that you, um, used magic? In simple terms, I suppose. Um, rituals and, and, and old methods. I, I just wanted to help. Johan will look over to Jonathan. Now, now, Jonathan, there's no need to ask such questions. We came to save them, after all. Look, Johan, I just want to make sure that we don't have any demons amongst us, okay? Demons. <laughs> well, what about the rest of you? Balrock. Rug. I don't. I don't think I've heard of the Torok clan. Do uh, dwarves have last names? It's their it's their clan name. Yeah. Oh. That's oh, what that's yeah. what Torok would be. Is your clan name? Okay. okay then yeah, that makes sense. It's fine. Yeah. But, um, he will, uh, 
he will kind of stroke his chin. Have you ever heard of the Torok clan, Johan? I, I have not, but there's only... The, look, you are concerning yourself, Jonathan, with too much, I think. He is not one of the traitor clans, so or traitor tribes, excuse me. So I do not think there's anything to worry about. And Johan will keep feeding everybody. Are you sure we are safe? I'm taking big gulps of the soup. Well, you're as safe as we could hope for you to be, Johan says. Uh. We are far away from the church's eyes out here in the wilderness. Hopefully. Oh, that's a relief for me. Uh, oh, I'm Simon. Uh, thank you for saving me. No problem, uh. Simon. Name's Jonathan James Silva. People probably know me around these parts as the Silver Bounty Hunter. I've... I've never heard of you. Ooh, that, I think I have! Know. Yes, are, are you the man that uses the, um, the silver hat? Her. Oh my Tracking goodness! Silver. Jonathan! We have a traveling minstrel. A minstrel, you say? I can whip up a song. A traveling song from another place that I heard. Indeed. Oh, that is so good to hear. What about you? Who, oh, me? I. You can call me Rowan for now. But I'm from the Pale City. I was a, a worker for them, so to speak. Messed up on a job. Well, that's not entirely true. They messed up on a job, and they needed a scapegoat. And just so happened to be scapegoat shaped. Oh, dear lass. Here, have some stew. It'll make everything better. What about you? Why do you have that collar around your neck? Well, it's not like I got a choice for that. But you end up offending the church one way or another anyways. And now I'm here. You can call me Maze. Hmm. Well, in either case, here's the deal. Johan and I have to make our delivery, or else we don't get paid. But we also took time out of our way to make sure that you're nice and ship shape. So, here's what we're going to do. You're in no position to travel. Your hands and feet are going to need time to heal. Johan and I, however, still have to make our delivery. So... Here's what we, uh, what we propose to do. Johan and I know a place where you can lay low, stay hidden from the church. It's a warm place, and we'll split our supplies with you. We've got a little extra, and we can spare some. We'll leave you there for then, and then we'll finish our travel, make sure our delivery gets there on time, and we'll also keep an eye out for any of the, um, ne'er-do-well churchgoers. Then once we've determined that it's safe, we'll come back for you. How does that sound? Can I insight check him? Sure. Uh, oh my! Hold on, my my bar is too <clears throat> too high up. That sounds more than reasonable. We're not really in a position to bargain, so. Thank you for your generosity. Your insight reveals that Jonathan is not lying to you. Although, you can sense that he is still very much wary of you. He is not like his... his partner, Johan, who is... who is, who is basically like a coddling mother at this point. 
I understand you're wary of us to an extent. We'll make you go through such extents just for some people that are on a cross. We're no martyrs, after all. Johan's a good man. And I'm easily convinced. Indeed, I could not see another person suffer by the hands of those tyrants. They fell out of power for a reason. Some say that it's Betheria herself punishing them. Others would, of course, cut my tongue from my mouth if they had heard such a thing. But they're not here, and this is my tent. You're pretty brave, speaking up about the church nowadays, even though they're falling out of power. Well, someone has to be brave. Don't you agree? I do agree. People Another hiding behind their cold. goddess. Either way, Jonathan, you said was your name? Aye. Jonathan Keel. Honestly, if I was in your position, I probably would have just done what you were thinking and just kept sledding by. I appreciate it either way from the both of you. Well, in either case, we'll do what we can. For now, rest. It's starting to get dark outside. That I can do. All right. Does the party lay down to rest? Yeah. Oh. All right. Yep. As you do so, Jonathan and Johan keep watch, as do their fateful hounds. And so, now we're going to roll to see how quickly you can recover from your wounds. So everyone make for me a constitution saving throw. Okay. I am Average. I'm saving. I'm saving. Nice. Nice. Barely Damn. passing. Okay. Party makes some decent recovery, but it's gonna take a long time for those for those wounds to heal. So to be clear. While you are still wounded, meaning that while you are still wearing these salves, you are unable to use your hands. Alrighty? Mm -hmm. No All hands. Right. No hand slots. No hands, Peter. We do it private. No we use our feet for everything. <laughs> use your head. Don't worry, I just bite everything. Look, they're called grippers for a reason. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually drinking that soup with my foot. <laughs> well, he was feeding you, wasn't he? All right. I would have speed run eating that shit, dude. Alrighty. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. When I come back, we can uh, get started on the next scene. All right. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. um, Bane and Simon got that extra recovery from cuddling. Exactly, dude. <laughs> so we keep warm. That's how Simon got a natural 20, actually. Yeah. Give him yeah the look. dog yeah. rolled wow. over. Hello, dog. Yeah. Oh, come back here. Nice. <laughs> Pet the Hello? doggy. Dog? Pet the doggy. Uh, <laughs> I want this one. <laughs> what, are, what are the dogs you know, uh, petting, talking I'm about? Please this tell one. me. No, I this want, one deserves I want this some one. attention. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this this one stinks. Stick my hand in the fire. Ah! Oh my god. Hey pet guys, the look, there's a rock. The <laughs> there's a glowing rock pit. It burns. Now we pet the fire. <laughs> the fire and some love too. It helped. It, it help. Now we pet the wolf. And now Instead we... of the dog. Is this not the wolf? Wait, which no. one's the wolf? This one's the wolf. This one has the skin of a wolf. Pet them both. There we go. Oh, thank you. No! <laughs> don't, don't pet me. <laughs> Technically, we can't do any of it. We can't use our hands. We can't, can't use, use our hands. hands. Don't worry, I'm just nubbing you, dude. This, this is terrifying. Oh, this is worse than being on the cross. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you just wake up and you just have seven people just petting you like, this is the nightmare. <laughs> then it's gonna I be I was... actually... <laughs> this is gonna be the reaction that the 
the Waymaker's trophy has, where it's just like the. Mm. Yeah, so the, 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 Waymaker, shout out to Waymaker for the great NPC art. Look at these dudes, Johan and Jonathan. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm I back. I love these guys. Johan is friend shaped, and I appreciate he looks, that he looks, greatly. He looks like a black Mario, and I love him. Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Arkadian. Good morning. All right, and so the party rests, their bellies full, their bodies warm, and salves over their wounds. The best one could hope for in the current situation. Slowly, the sun begins to rise, and the morning comes. Jonathan and Johan will get all of you up and awake, will bound you up in their sleds, and they will continue their journey. On the road again. Let's go. Let's get on the road again. You know that song? Yeah, me and my tribe sing it all the time. Mm. Good song. Strange, I would have thought you preferred to smack my bitch up. <laughs> uh, I don't go again. Maz raise his eyebrow. Mazakin. <laughs> As you walk outside, you can see that there are two dogs just kind of sitting in front of the fire. This one says, So do you think that they're gonna find out the truth? What truth would that be, Jim? Well, the truth of the world. Oh my god. What do you mean, the truth of the world? Well, think about it. There's only two reasons to be alive, right? That's for tasty treats and for pets. Right you are, right you are. So if that's the only two things that life is for, they just had their treats, right? Right. So now it's time for pets. I think you got a good idea there. We should go nuzzle up and show them how. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Dog, 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 I'll dog, pet dog. the dog, definitely. I will, am I, look, I, I want to pick up the dog. Can I do that, please? Uh, the dog will not let you do that. Oh. Can I make a self-check to avoid being seen by the dog? Can I add a dog to my inventory? Negative. <laughs> I pet the dog. <laughs> I pet the dog. To be clear, uh, I'll call you. all of you cannot hear what the dogs are saying. Mm -hmm. I know but Mazakin can speak dog. I can sp I can speak dog. <laughs> Languages dog. That's so shaven shit shit. They all sp they all speak German. <laughs> oh god. Wait, the dog, dog speaks German. German. It's like that one old old show with like that one German dog that was just yelling in angry German. <laughs> what show what, what the hell would that show would that be? I have no idea. All right. Curse the cowardly ice swine. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. Yeah. All right. Party is gathered up. They are led further down the river. Let me move everybody. Bidding. Morok, you want to make a silver? Uh, what? Jump. Don't you listen to him. He's an lake. idiot. He'll turn. Oh, he'll turn oh, towards oh. the lake. For silver. If I had it, I actually would be serious. Hmm. Oh, then. All right, they will lead you up to the edge of this pier, and you will see that there is a small boat tied to the ferry. All right, so we're gonna have to be careful when we cross here. You don't want to fall in. 
It'll knock you out instantly. Hypothermia. Frozen to a crisp dead. An ice cube. I was about that silver. <laughs> nope. I don't think that's a great idea, my friend. Oh. Oh. All right. And as such, everybody will gather into the small boat. And <coughs> Jonathan will guide you across the um, large flowing ice to the other side. From there, you'll travel slightly north to the road. Until finally, you're brought to a small alcove, and deep down below, you can see what appears to be an area that has no snow in it. It actually looks rather warm and inviting. And one moment while I load that map for you. Okay. Instantly loaded, holy. Yeah, nice. that was yeah. nice. That's because this uh, teleportation thing is pretty cool. That's because you can preload now, so I've been preloading uh -huh. the maps for you. OP OP, very good. Nice. Very good. I love you, Foundry. All right. And when you get to about this point. Broken sled. A sled that is broken. Mm hmm. Yeah, they'll lead you Place to. cozy. They'll lead you to about here, and they will point down into the ravine. This is a hot springs that Johan and I discovered some time back. We often use it as a place where we rest in between trips up and down Shickletown and towards Mornhow. You lot can use it for now to hide out until we come back with some better supplies so you can find your way. Here's all we can spare. All right. And Johan, or excuse me, Jonathan, will hand uh, Mazikeen a satchel. Uh, the satchel contains supplies such as rations, enough for a large tent that can contain all of you, some other minor camping supplies, so it's like a, it's an actual camping kit with three charges. Uh, in addition to that, he will also hand you a map. Thank you. So we will be waiting here for you then? Aye. It's, the journey shouldn't take us more than four days. There and back. So we should be back in about four days. You know, assuming we don't die. What if, what if the church finds that we're missing? Well, they probably already have. They're not going to let apostates' bodies just sit out there. Thankfully, Johan and I are pretty good at covering up our tracks. Oh, oh. What's the map for? The map is of the ice flows. Would you guys like to see it? Yes. 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 Show me. Show me! With my eyeballs! Hmm. Do it now! Do it now! Give it to me! Wow! Oh. Wow! Oh my god! Like, 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 what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> are, you are you ready for a session of this? Yeah. Uh, this is the campaign, guys. On this a is Sunday. still the TPK. Now, so, a great way I to begin the week. Tim's in the ravine. Now, this is something I haven't done that much. Hold on, let me think. For what do they call that game? Tarish. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do we get down? Jump. Jump? I'll give you a silver. Mm, just jump. Yeah. Our swan dies into the bottom. <laughs> I'll give you a silver siege. A lot less worth a lot less than an actual silver, so don't do it. Like the pound to the euro. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure Earth. out how would I create something that I could just show you, like an image, and put it. Uh, in here. And you just display the images for. To be fair, couldn't you upload it as like a, a character art and then pop it out that way? Hey, yo. I guess I could do it that or, way, but there's okay, gotta there's be a better way to see here. 
Is there like a, a notes way of doing it? Uh, make a token? Like making a note document and then me, putting the image there. Let me let me see here. A human baby is twelve thousand calories. <laughs> what the oh, okay, fuck no did you just say? <laughs> that was reading something. <laughs> Yeah, you were just a reading good something. Is 2, that is the <laughs> worst take since bread and milk. Oh no! Don't bring the don't bring the bread. Please, and the milk can we abandon that in the snow? Just bury it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. What about bread and ice? No, Someone, that's even worse. An Alaskan no. sandwich. Interesting. One, one of my friends watching the stream. An Alaskan just like, hey, sandwich. An Alaskan sandwich. Is it bread and ice? <laughs> How about bread and frozen milk? Dream sent me a message saying, Hey, since you guys have to survive, just so you know, a human child is like 12,000 calories. <laughs> good. good to know, yeah. Like, thanks. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you for that tip. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, who are the females of the group? What? 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 Excuse um, me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? All right. Can we just push Balrock down this cliff? <laughs> Can I get the silver then if I do it? Surely an adult orc has more calories. All right. Uh, I guess Ready? I'll I guess I'll try this. This is what the map looks like. Or I could sustain you guys for about a week. Hmm. Yeah. See that? Where? Where, where is it? It should uh, be. I see it on stream, but not in game. Same. I'm looking on stream. Yep. See it. This is so, so weird. So I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. Uh, whatever. I'll just do it this way. This is going to be much easier. I'll do it like this. I'll just Discord stream it. I see. Okay. Oh, need to open Discord again. It's so weird. Oh, Ice Flows map. Hello, Ice Flows map. It did just load on the Andrew. Yeah. Oh, oh, it loaded just now? Okay. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, where are we? You are here, in the middle of that hurricane at the top left. <laughs> Imagine. This regional map is cool as fuck. Holy. Well, we're in between... All the, uh, all the maps look so, really, really nice. So you're here. You are, yes, you, you you are around the ice cuts. Okay. And they're gonna go to Shickle Town and back. Yeah, they're going to Shickle Town and back. So, All right. Shickle Town. Ten four. Oh, I see the map now. Well, you can make oh, it. Can't wait for the map to randomly pop up ten minutes later for me. <laughs> I, I can't even like, move it, dude. I'm trying to make it bigger. I'm trying to zoom in. And yeah, it yeah the fact you can't zoom in is kind of annoying. But anyway, the fact is you have a map and you guys can look at it whenever you want. Um, anyway, so with that, Johan and Jonathan will call their dogs. And they will bid you good luck. Mm -hmm. See you in four days. Good luck, friend. Four days. Thank you. Travel. Don't die. Well, you should... All right. All right. How do so, we get down there? We jump, obviously. See the water down there. Uh, so what you're looking at is about a 20 foot cliff side. It is mm -hmm. fairly easy to uh, to climb down. You can see that at the bottom there are several s small stone ruins, and what appears to be a small spring that seems to be naturally heated. Um, this is not there yet. That'll be there when you set it up, but you know we're just getting yep. it prepared for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the water flowing in the spring? Uh, more like bubbling, but yeah. So it doesn't have like a clear direction of where the stream is going. No, it is. It is flowing. It's flowing from north to south, but it's All bubbling right. up from here. Got it. So, drinking water. It's going to be the bathing water. Well, let's not waste any more time, then. Let's get down there. Right, then. 
Bullock's gonna start climbing down the edge of the cliff. Oh, Gingerly making the way oh, down with the hands oh, still a little, uh... <laughs> Athletics Are you checks. able to climb? Are you just gonna be able to climb gotta... down without pants? That's the Will you one. take acrobatics? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I, um, I We're like starting on get a strong. Plus two on that. All right. Oh, there you go. So the, oh, fuck my hands! So the party starts trying to climb without hands. Realizes that that's fucking hard and falls. Yes. Thankfully, yeah. it is a it is an incline, so you just kind of roll down to the bottom. Oh, oh shit! Hands. Fuck! Oh. Aha. Mm -hmm. Can I see a place where I can hop down 10 feet, maybe, and then hop the other 10 down? Well, there's a small staircase that's etched out of the stone over here. Where? That looks brilliant. I'll take that. Oh my god. I learned from my session with Crotus. <laughs> it's always best to look for stairs or climb. <laughs> the power of using your eyes. No, no. I'm going to fall down, and I'm just going to... Oh, I noticed how uh, they didn't come mm -hmm. with us. I mean, they're going to Shickle Town. I'm awake. No, I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about Elsie. Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Well, there is a staircase over there. There was. Holes. Yes. More than trees. You should, Bullshit. You should better watch for that. Might be unwanted visitors coming through there. It's right over there. And as oh wait, no, I don't have pants. I can't pick pocket. <laughs> <laughs> don't see, don't know. Uh, no, you yeah. can't pickpocket without hands. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll be. Look, look at them. They're rotating and everything. No, no, Matt, you don't have to. They're just etched. They're not, like, real. <laughs> you don't stairs up here. Oh, well, there they go. No more staircase anymore. Don't tell them where the stairs are. Uh, it appears suspicious. we're being haunted. Yeah, it appears that this place is haunted. So I'll grab my gun. Before. Spring's haunted. But be a strange man. Is there any markings on the stones that are down here? Perception any check. Any? Ah, there's the map, finally. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. 24. He's perceiving. These ruins are old, and they've been exposed to the elements for a long time. Whatever writing that once was on them has long since been lost. Uh, what's on this bush? Are these edible? Someone make me an advanced nature check to find out if that's edible fruit. Would I be oh, able no. to make a survival instead? Or... Mm -mm. Oh, never mind then. Nope. Anyone here mm. have proficiency in nature? Nope. Nope. Are the druid? Nope, maybe? <laughs> nope. Okay. No, don't don't eat anything you find on a bush. Well, there's only one way to find out. Pick Unless off. you want to get your second rendezvous with death. In a day. I wouldn't, wouldn't care. I'm going to take a bite out of it. Mm -hmm. You're a great orc. Ain't rendezvous an undercommon... All right. Something like if that. I die, you know not to eat it. Make a constitution saving throw, Balrog. <laughs> If I die, you know not to eat it. Legendary last words. Fourteen. Well, it doesn't taste very good. Mm. You can find some better ones elsewhere. These, some, these ones kind of stink. Mm. Have you tried? We could good cook it. Cooking it? Probably, my book is better. Also, yeah. You would change that... something before. Man is that a dripping and... ambient noise, or what am I hearing? It is. My God. If we get it's closer to the water, there's a drip drop ambient noise. Oh my God. Oh. Is there a bridge so I can cross the stream? Uh, no. But it's not deep or anything. You just step across it. Uh, my game froze. <laughs> Tragic. A little sleeper. I also tried to set it up to where you can barely hear the wind outside. I don't know if you guys hear that. I can hear the wind, just barely. I can hear it's it. It's very subtle. 
Yeah, because I can hear you're... my laptop ventilating. It's very aesthetic. I lost them in the wind. Bro, bro, my 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 computer's going. To... This is very. <laughs> yeah, I have to reload. Very immersive. Page. Thank you, Arcadum. No, these are really nice. Everything sounds really nice. Looks really nice. I'm having a good time. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Mm. You. All right. Help mm. me build up this tent, so we can get things started here. Sure. Mm. Don't. Look you up I'll and down. We'll get the stuff for the tent out of the statue. I claim this bed for Spain. There's no bed there yet. There's no bed there yet. It's an exis yet. <laughs> My man's in Brazil. I also claim this bush for Spain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are going to set up the camp, yes? Yes. yes. And you would like to use the camping supply to do so, yes? Yes. Yes. All right. To be clear, it has three charters. You have only enough rations for three days for the number of people that you have. And they will take four days? Mm hmm. Those idiots gave us four. They gave us three days worth of rations. The fuck? I'll be right back. Well, didn't they say they'd be back on the fourth day? On the fourth day, yes. Oh, you want to count on strangers? Or stuff? No, not really. That's why I'm going to go out and look. Using stairs. I'll show you where they are. Oh. Well, if he doesn't return. We have more food, so... Lead the way, miss. I mean, there's no food if we can't find them, but... Yeah. Well, we have food. We just need to spread it to the less people, then. If they don't come back. True, I guess. Pragmatic! Can I medicine check the, the salves and try and get a, like, a recovery time of oh. how soon we might be able to use our hands again? Yes. Um, a while. Thank you. At mm. least at least a couple more days. Can I try an advanced heal my hands? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to speed run being able to use my hands. All right, the two of you exit the hot spring. You're now at the upper shelf, 20 feet up. I was going to go and look around for anything, possibly look at this uh, sleigh down here. That's broken up. See if we can get anything useful out of it. So okay. I'm start making my way. Make my way downtown. Walking slow. My hands hurt. I can't use them. Ow, 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 ow. I was thinking the same thing, actually. But I know that so. All right, well, pause there for a second. Ooh, okay. No, where are you, like, at the at the sled? Uh, Elsie, are you following him? <coughs> Yes, but I'd be trying to sort of gently follow him, not to, to alert anything or anyone. So stealth? You want to use stealth is what you're telling me? Yeah. All right. Make me a basic stealth check. Okay. Um, weird question. Skill focus. Does that mean advantage applies here? Do you have proficiency in stealth? It was the extra proficiency I picked, and I also put the skill focus into it. Well, then there you go. Advantage me up. Okay, just making sure. And another question. What's the consistency of the snow? Is it like powder, slush? Is it hard snow? It's hard snow. Got it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be taking expertise into account, so 18 total, technically. You have expertise as well? Yeah, you get it first level, so pumped it into stealth. All right, well, the name. All right, you have an 18, so you're following from the back. All right, Silva, what are you going to do with the sled? I'm going to look at it, Invest see if there's anything. Basic investigation can... check. Basic investigation. Do, 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 do. That's a sleigh. Well, with an 8, you can see that the sled is all broken up. Um, it's unclear about what caused the damage, but what is clear is that there is a bunch of firewood right here. Yep, that's firewood. All right, I'm going to start just kicking it towards the camp. 
Because I can't pick it up, I'm just going to start kicking it. Okay. <laughs> Do we have basic functions of our hands? Yeah! I mean, yeah. You, you can, oh, like, pick stuff balls. up in your arms. Yeah. You just can't wield stuff. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that I said. Like, have you ever had, like, a cast? You can, like, wiggle around and pick something up, but you can't, like, wield a weapon or anything. <laughs> what I'm doing. All right. So you gather some firewood. up against this rock and... Start throwing it over the side there, I guess. Yeah. I'll pick some up and help yeah. as well. Yeah. As soon as I hear it, I'll start to walk over to relay it. Now for the reason on why I was up here. Okay. Who did you say that to? No one. I said it to myself. And it's I'm video game self monologue. I'm relieving myself in this bush over here, far away from the camp. Okay, how are you doing that? <laughs> no, Very no wielding with those hands. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> okay. No wielding. Those Silva hands. wiggles his hips until his pants come undone. <laughs> Don't get caught how in your you pants. How you pick them down. back up is the question. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going over here, just shaking my hips like Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Stop time and we're stopping up. And there we go. All right, that was good. And realizing that I can't pick up, my head, I'm just gonna start doing that. You're that gonna start Jimmy. shuffling. Oh, <laughs> start oh, shuffling. No. <laughs> You're doing the wall. You, no. you can hear some very loud shuffling. What well. in the fuck is that? <laughs> I realized I can't pick up my pants. You turn around and you just see a, a man shuffling in his pants in the snow. Please don't look, it's very undignified. I'm gonna continue looking and just give him the most judgmental look I can muster. Be a real dick move to attack right now. <laughs> I don't have no hands. I have no hands, my pants are down, leave me alone. <laughs> You want to try a guy pants hey, I've got a pro tip. Use your knees. Yeah. Although, uh... You're pissing by yourself, pants. <laughs> Thank you, Roxa. All right, what else are you guys doing? Is there Just any fish? Any in, the water? <laughs> in the water? What was Just that? Just away. What size is this? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. All right. What? I'm not going to be able to do my character. I may as well steal someone else's. <laughs> Wait, man. I make my way down the Hold stairs. Hold on, I have to roll for it. Hey! <laughs> Respectable. Not bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys! He was the first one to whip it out, what do you mean? <laughs> Damn, I wasn't even... <sighs> she! Oh no. She! All right. Only half hard. Let's All right. Be cold outside. <laughs> so, Fane, <laughs> Mazikeen, and Balrog, you guys are mm -hmm. setting up the... <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys are setting up the camp? Yeah. 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 I'm looking if there's any wood. fish or something in the water. Looking in the water, you say. Yeah. Anything? Can I hear anything talk? Make me a basic perception check. Is you yapping? <laughs> you hear muffled words. Oh you don't hear anything. And then I'll shoot. <laughs> AC bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, man, help here. Uh. Hmm. Huh. When I get a chance and people seem to be doing things, I want to walk up to Balrock and speak to him. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna pick some of these berries. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Hey, uh. Hi, big fella. Or. Why did they put you up there? Um. It's a little bit of a long story, but, you know, working for the church and all that shit and not doing what they say exactly kind of gets you in a very, very shit spot. And how exactly do you plan to deal with the church now? They know you're a heretic. 
<sighs> I don't know yet. I think we'll just give him a nod. All right, well. These people are uh, curious. Be smart yeah. about it. We'll survive. We'll show you. At a smaller one, I have seen that face around before. And you were working for the church? Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. <coughs> Sorry, I'll see you have no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, as people kind of start coming back, I'll I'll go back to sort of organizing the firewood into a neater pile. Um, I'll pick up a stick with my mouth. Uh, start a fire, or well, stare at the pile of wood. In the supplies they gave us, did they give us any mundane methods of starting a fire? They flint and steel. <clears throat> Hey, Fang, got a question for you. Also, I can't press T because if I press T, my game freezes. <laughs> it's it's fine. Don't worry about that. So everything freezes for you guys. Uh, Fang will, will turn from the fire and look down towards Silva. Hi. You said that you were caught healing people. Hi. What's the problem with that? You see, the church didn't agree with my methods. Mm. They don't care if you're healing people, if you're helping people, if you're doing right by the laws of the church, if that big law is ignored. You know how it is. You either with the church completely or you're against them. Mm. It certainly didn't help that I'm an elf. Certainly didn't help that the people around there didn't didn't like me already, but I I did not expect to uh to save lives and end up on a cross for it. I heard that story once before. The church has a tendency to be a very sort of word. Bullshit. Did you guys light the campfire? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and light it when you can, Matt. Continue. Oh. Well, the church and the, uh... Knight with that fucking ugly helmet. They're gonna be after us for a while, and... I reckon that... Unless we're careful we'll find the iron instead of the r redemption through suffering or whatever nonsense he was battling on about way, I'd fucking beat them to a bloody pulp the sun begins to set as the day ticks by hey Elsie why don't you come and join us at the fire one of your room in no, a second might be it might be a smart rule not to sit with a light source when you're trying to hide from people. We're in but the middle considering... of a ravine. Yeah. So, you want to be on the cross again? I doubt they'll be so friendly this time. Still hear those dogs. Hmm. I'm not too worried about it. Well, the flame of the firelight and the warmth of the water creates a pleasant temperature as you continue to converse through the night. You guys hear that? Yeah. 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 Okay. My type of jam. You guys continue. I'm just setting the mood. Oh. I know how you feel, Balrog. With me, I took enough jobs to, uh, 
make a saint sin and a sinner pray. I wasn't expecting mm. to be on the cross either. You say one wrong thing to the wrong person. Well, pretty sure they. Pretty sure they've been waiting to do that to me for a while. Yeah, the story that sounds too familiar. <clears throat> at the end of the day, at least we're here. We got a new lease on life. Ain't much to say now, other than just to uh, walk that dusty trail. Hi. But well, what about those two? Those. Fane. No. Fane will gesture to to Simone and and Elsie. I know that these others are rightfully angry, but you two have been awfully quiet. Well, it was not, it was not a easy time. They, they got my friends and they killed, and they killed one. I survived, but it was horrible. Mm. This is the second time I escaped that. Well, hopefully there isn't a third. I don't plan on dying. Well, nobody here does. No does. At the end of the day, we will. If it just wasn't use my body as a shield. Huh. All right. What do we got for rations? Mm -hmm. Hmm. We don't have enough to last until the time they would return, so we need to figure something out. I mean, we had soup not too long ago. Maybe we should just hold off for today. A fair point. That'll uh, impact our recovery time, though. We're mm -hmm. healing on monkey stomach. Besides, they might be returning with people other than just themselves. At or the they might not be returning at all. True. One of them did seem wary of us. I think at the end of the day, we should just count on ourselves here. You, just to be you safe. wondered about that? Or not the one that was not wary, more suspicious? Uh, either way, we got enough information to know where not to be and where to be. I think that whether or not they show up in four days, we should make our way to Pickle just to get there. Be better than being holed up in some hole in the wall, quite literally. Or rather be in a hole in the ground than frozen on a cross. Agreed. True. Well, she'll get up and uh, moved into the tent. I'm going to uh, bathe myself, or attempt to at least. I'll just be sitting here. I'll try to keep a lookout, I guess. Alright. So, the party chooses to rest, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. What are your watches? Uh, I'll be going first. Okay. I'll, I'll take second. Second. Oh, there. Looks like four. I'll do. Right. I guess I'm doing first with Balrog just because I'm bathing during his watch. Fair enough. All right, first watch it is. Everybody in the tent, if you're not on first watch, and sleep. Damn it. Mazakin took <laughs> my bed. <laughs> Should have called dibs. I did, though. I did. It wasn't there yet. Shut up. Are you snuggling <laughs> up again? I see Simon, like, 
come to my bed quickly and I will stand up and I will uh, move. <laughs> 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 this time he's yeah. conscious for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you like an eyebrow. Like, hmm. uh, <laughs> as he kind of walks away, you hear just under his breath, We're fucking warm now, mate. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he seems to have a liking to you. Oh. You should be careful. He's my snuggle buddy! <laughs> Snuggles. Just Snuggles. Uh, then turn over. <laughs> just close his eyes. <laughs> what? What's Spanish for Snuggles? Snuggles. <laughs> Snuggles. Uh. Fucking Simon the Cuddle Buddy. Penitos. Penitos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so during first watch, Balrock's on watch, and Silva was bathing. Yes. Okay. I'll put myself back over there. Wee. <gasps> All right. First watch starts to tick down. Uh, <sighs> you, you... <laughs> what, 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 what the fuck? What? What happened? I what? just heard a bunch of keystrokes, and then you going. <clears throat> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was typing my computer. Sorry. sorry. He, he sorry. looked up he looked up that good snoo snoo for oil. Oh my god. Oh, right. <laughs> Greenskinsonly.com. Dude, he's just like I'm, I'm on I'm on first game. watch! <laughs> first watch! Oh, yeah. But look at the sleeping effect, oh cool. <laughs> Oh, there's a sleep snoring? effect. Yeah, look at that. It's a little sleeping. Yeah. We're snoring. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Fane snores loud as fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Fane kick. I'm gonna kick you. He's a start honk snoring. You kind of person. All right, Silva, so, you you finished washing yourself. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That made me laugh. So I... He's done. <laughs> he could, couldn't hold his composure anymore now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I get my clothes and start making my way to the fire. You already couldn't get your pants up earlier. <laughs> now you're completely undressed. Hey there, Balrog. Or, or, I, I, I smile, showing my teeth. He smiles back. Worried about how orcs might take that. Uh, <laughs> saunters he says up you undressed. Show <laughs> Shows up undressed, <laughs> bears my teeth he, to an orc. And he goes, Ugh. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Ah, yes. Hey, how's it going? to compare now or something. <laughs> <laughs> the, age, the age rating is rising by the minute. <laughs> Could I borrow you for a minute to help me out here? I know you're on oh. watch, but uh, unfortunately, just don't make it weird. I'm not gonna. I'll just don't around. make it weird. I, I turn to her like I'm sh I'm at like you're at my side. Ooh, dog, I'm like eight <laughs> feet tall. I'm not at your side. Okay, damn. You promise? Why yeah. is the first thing I see in chat? Isn't that an orc mating thing? What? Yeah, it is. That's why I realized. What I... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It is in a calcash, at least. Yeah, <laughs> Mazakine opens her eyes all bloodshot. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, just, just how it was at the prison with the church. Oh. <laughs> He's, oh he's grudging. God. I'm, I'm on first I'm watch. Fucking uh. if you don't st look, look, please, please. It was one time. <coughs> okay, continue. Please. <laughs> Appreciate it. I, I think I can get my coat. Or you put on my so warm out here. <laughs> oh, so you could have helped. You helped me put on my pants. Oh. <laughs> Uh, use your knees. Use your knees. <laughs> All right, I I put my pants on the ground. I shuffle my feet into them, and I flip upside down. I do backflip. Put on my uh, pants. Uh, uh, 
Man. Here we go! It's <laughs> oh. impressive. Start to look so late, but cursors. <laughs> My god. I'm, I'm lost and so alone. Bro, he black flips so hard that okay. his clothes fly off and fly The first back watch on. comes to a close. I'm gonna lean back was, up against the wall. Next? Who was on second? I'll wake him up. Bane, who you as you kind of come in, you see he'll sit up and look at you and just glare. He does what? not look rested whatsoever. What's the problem? You will silently <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> shuffle past. I don't give a fuck. Warm bed it is. Look, that work is awfully promiscuous. And I go to sleep. Do not talk anymore. Does, does, does Barak not go to sleep, or does he just? Oh no, I'm, I'm sleeping outside. That's he's, okay. he's just sleeping outside against the fire. Yeah. Uh, Fane will come out. And... Oh my god! Wait, god why is his knees so <laughs> big? Because he looks so loud, dude. <laughs> it's <laughs> eight feet tall. <laughs> 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 It will surely deter any predators from coming over. I got that that gram that. Why that, is it so big? <laughs> I got that like <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. like snore like after a long day's work, just like. All right, Fane. Okay, uh, Fane will come out and. <laughs> after completely ignoring <laughs> after completely ignoring JJ on the way out, sort of like cautiously turns and looks at Balrog and notices he's asleep, so he'll he'll come over to what's left of the fire. And he'll sit down and he'll look towards his hands and like where the wrappings cover most of it and try and pull at some of the cloth to to reveal the the woad tattoo markings just to make sure they're still there. Before just taking uh, a bit of the firewood and just tracing small sigils into the like bed of charcoal that is developing. Okay. And you will just contemplate what the fuck has just happened. Pondificating? 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 Yes. Make me a perception check while you're pondificating. Ooh. My eyes? They're closed, apparently. <laughs> Second He's watch comes to, to a close. <clears throat> Time for third watch. I believe it was Simon. He's uh, having some in. trouble getting oh, up. That's my, that's my turn. Uh, uh, yeah. Vane will sort of shake you. And just go. Go on. Oh, the oh, big fella's asleep okay. outside. Be careful. All right. <laughs> uh, as Simon leaves, Fane will like look at the other sleeping people and then climb into the warm sleeping bag. I knew it. Why <laughs> is it so big? I can't believe I can't believe he sleeps by Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to close him out. <laughs> you're, you're gonna try it what? <laughs> to close his mouth. Unfortunately, as you try to close his mouth, you realize his mouth can't fully close because he has big ass tusks. Can he even oh, reach? Can he even reach? Bullrock. Bullrock. You're having a, you're having a dream by a little puppy licking your your neck. <laughs> uh, doggy. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are the Z's getting bigger? At the end of the day, he's just gonna Bro, be like, I'm gonna learn the ah, fucking church. I'm gonna learn the church, guys. Help. He's just screaming. It, it, no, it now makes sense. It now makes sense that the uh, attribute number for stealth was missing on your character sheet like half an hour ago. 
Uh, sorry. <laughs> nah, he sleeps normal, I swear. <laughs> he's powering up. Oh. <laughs> this is just him stretches. powering up his, his healing, dude. He's healing his hands. This! This is what's known as a super nap. A super nap. And this is what's known as a super nap, too. And this oh, no. is a super nap that goes beyond a super nap. <laughs> anyway, what do you know? You can just call this super nap a two. Whoa! What's up, Seaman? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna do some stretches. Some stretches? You got it. Yeah. Link. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mazakine <laughs> opens her eyes again. Bloodshot. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is contemplating. It's worse. It's worse. It's just worse than what the prison wall. Oh. <laughs> that, that guy, I already know. That guy already know. But the other one. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna mm. poison you all. Oh no, that's getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All of them are getting bigger. Oh my god, it's so funny, dude. This whole time just. Alright, I think it's uh -huh. Matt responsible for this. I love it, dude. This is so funny. <laughs> it's gotta be Matt. Alright. It's, it's definitely Matt. Alright, Simon, eventually you finish your stretches and your watch comes to an end. Oh, fine. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Those are the other background right. noises that Ball Rock is making. The... <laughs> Next. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, you. What's your turn? Yeah, me. Get them. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I need clarification. Is he climbing into bed with me? Yeah. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Full grab. Bro, I'm getting a little spoon. Right. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude? No, no, no. How is Opsy no, walking while they're asleep, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? They're like rolling hey, out in the <laughs> Move. They're an empty bed. Elsie and Maisie Kane are now awake. He was making that noise? Yes. Oh, on tree. Don't wake him. I'm. <laughs> Just gonna sit next to the water, put her feet in. You just put your feet in the warm water. Uh, yep. Splish splash. I'm in a hot spring. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> enjoying the hot stream, done. trying to relax your bloodshot eyes, looking yeah, out into the. Oh! Oh my Jesus Christ! Exactly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh my God! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my God! All right. And so you stay on watch for the next day. Until finally, fourth watch comes to an end. And the sun slowly begins to rise. Oh my <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick him in the leg. <laughs> Wake up. Up and at him, time to work. <coughs> Morning, ladies. What, 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 what is it? What? Hope you slept all right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I pick a fruit. Good morning. Oh, why the fuck were you trying to cuddle me like that? <coughs> no, you were in my bed. Oh, remember? Excuse me, ma'am. You came first. I am now cooking <laughs> the fruit. You okay. Not eat those. So You're not my really question: trying to eat those. Okay. How are you cooking the fruit? <laughs> I grabbed one of the one of the sticks from the sled, dumped it I'll in the water. I'll let my fingers bust through the cast uh -huh. and just grab them. 
I, I oh no. Then uh, Thunder Thigh grabbed the stick, and I'm just holding it in my thighs. Okay. Let, let I'm go. starting to see why you all <laughs> got crucified. I don't think this is how they do it in the tribe. Hey, can't use my hands. Mm -hmm. Hold on, no, 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 let, let me show you something. I'm just gonna grab it with with my mouth. Hey, you're oh. gonna grab it. What is oh this? no! I, I'm assuming he's putting the, sti the... Like, the fucking food on the stick, right? He did, but he's holding it. But he's holding it in his thighs. No, 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 okay, look, 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 can I please have my own, please, please, look, I've already had one mistake. Can okay, 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 stick. Thank you. Boom, okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm just roasting it over here. I'm gonna see what the rations actually have while they're all eating the terrible fruits from queen. the bush. Uh, the ration is just unleavened travel bread and some jerky. So this is how, oh. this is how the people with no hands get it. We're gonna uh, see. attempt uh, to eat those. Instead. Uh, I don't turn it. Do I turn it just like. I just. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just chew a little bit. Alright, Elsie and Simone. Uh -huh. Make me. 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 Make All right, Elsie, as you're kind of just standing by the hot spring, you kind of look up and you think you see something moving in the snow up here. You double take and you don't really see anything else, but you get the strange sense that something is there. Uh, I'm just going to briefly whistle to everyone and just nod up to the alcove. I want to press closer against the rock. Yeah, same. Be careful not to burn it. I'm going to put out the fire. Okay. Be careful. And I'm going to go around... Oh, not there. I'm going to go around there and try to start sinking my way up if I can. All right, go ahead. Stealth roll? Uh, basic or advanced stealth check? Advanced. Okay, so, hmm. Nineteen. All right, keep going. Just like it up here, do I see anything? Like in the direction that I saw the movement from? No, but you do hear something behind the rock here. What does it sound like? Voices. I'm going to step back down the stairs, try to conceal my form. I'm going to listen. Do they sound like they're hush voices or do they sound like they're talking? Basic perception check. I'm going to use my first little mastery here for advantage. Okay. Uh, 15. On well, the 15, you overhear this. It was like five, I think. Maybe six. Six. All right. Any weapons? I don't think so. But all their hands are covered. Do they have leprosy? Maybe we should think about this. Nah, they can't use their hands, they're easy pickings. That's what you hear. Does it sound like it's just two voices or would I have heard anything else? You heard three voices so far. 
Free. Voice okay. Is too loud. I will try to make my way back and alert them. Okay, go ahead. And that's how the people would look. Silver. Silver. Mm. We have company. And they don't sound they don't sound like they brought this wine. What'd they say? And they think they could take all six of us. Anything else? Do we know their numbers? I think I heard three. For three some reason one of them thinks we have leprosy, so That's our ticket. Okay. Unfriendly company. They think we have leprosy. We act ah. sick, as sick as possible. Okay, so what if I want to oh, just okay. bash the skulls in? I, I doubt that I would care if we're sick or not. Uh -oh. If they're here to rob us. That, that or if they're with the church. Can. Not falling behind on mercy again. Wrap whatever you can. Act like you're sick. Then we're not we get to drop on them when they get close. They'll think we're weak. All right. So you big guy should hide. Okay. And surprise Just... them from somewhere else. I'm gonna take some of the wrap from my hand and I'm gonna wrap it around my eye and my nose. How concealed can I be if I hide in this bush? Stealth check for me. Basic. <clears throat> Seven. Okay. You're in the bush. And I tell him that he's not really hidden. I mean, you could see him because he's your ally and he's not hiding from you. I'm gonna hide on this bush. She has the point. Stealth check. Oh, I'm gonna... Hide here. Yeah, you're closer to this rock and hide here. Bollock is relaying on the ground, playing dead. I'm gonna be coughing and groaning. Okay. <coughs> oh, uh, let me get into position. Uh, <gasps> You don't want to put you in the way, dude. Uh, I'm gonna be right here as soon as they would walk down that stairs. I'm not being stealthy, I'm bumbling around, acting like I'm sick, grabbing the walls and whatnot. An idiot. Instead of leading them to the camp. <laughs> Are they back with the medicine yet? Uh, seeing JJ do that, Fanny will kind of step forward and just go, uh, uh, JJ, come on, come back to the, come back to the camp. It's warm. Don't, we can't, we can't let it out of here. I need the medicine though. It, it, they'll, they'll be here with the medicine soon, buddy. Come on. My horse is twitching. I think we'll, we'll try and lead him a little bit further. Try and block Lannis away. Do I need to roll deception for you? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's not blended. Yeah, that's uh, more than a little good. concerning. That's annoying. Mm. I'm gonna uncover my eye while I'm hiding behind the rock. All right, Simon, make me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't see anything until it's almost too late. And you see this individual looking around the corner of the stone. It seems that he has not noticed you. Hmm. Uh, 
And this is for everybody. Oh boy. Damn, look at this dude. Look at that guy. He's cool. wearing hockey. He's wearing, he's wearing those fucking tennis things. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna cast message on Fane. Cast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bandits. There is. Prepare. They're in here. Fane will kind of jump at the message and just go, "Oh, I uh, how, how many? It's telepathic." I mean, yeah, you're uh, I see one. Sure. By the rock. I think there's there's more. I'll try and get line of sight for for Elsie and Balrock and kind of point towards where Simon is trying to uh, suggest. Balrock turns and looks with his one good eye. <laughs> Still I'm gonna try to move. <coughs> I'm gonna try to move. Uh, I'm gonna press myself against the rock and try to. You know, make myself unseen. Okay. I'm gonna pick here. I'm picking. Perception check. You think you see something to the southern snowbanks, but you're not really sure. I'd be able to make a uh, perception check from where I am, or? Uh, not yet. Okay, all right. With a 12 Simon, uh, can't really see anything else. Yeah. Hmm. Listen, Fane, I think there's there's more. They're, they're waiting. Is that another spell? Uh, how much yeah. does... Oh, does it work? Message. Which is one message? Yeah. Or... It's not a telepathic oh. bond. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, each time. Yeah, I no, think it's worth having then it. I don't. The exposure. Uh, exposure in a, self, in a stealth situation. I don't think those mix very well. So does he cast it the second time or no? No, no, no. No. Okay. Hmm. Alright, Elsie, make me a perception check. Do I still have the advantage? Yeah. Jesus. They're rolling pretty hot today. You see, if you want my advice, roll them separately. You have chances to see them fail on both times. I mean, you can it's much it more, more faster to do it this way. That is true, but I don't trust automated roles. They're disgusting. Alright, Balrog, make me a perception check. Okay. Let me see if I got anything to help with this. I don't think I do. Another uh, perception. Here we are. Ten. Okay. Um, in the tense silence, Fane will kind of look at JJ and just go, or like loudly in the, in the cavern, just go, listen, you, you rest, that's fine. I'll go wake the others and I'll start walking towards the... Uh... If, if he talks loudly, I'm pressing myself closer into the vegetation on the rock. <laughs> I'll walk sort of directly across into the tent. Well, when do you think they're going to be back with the medicine. Soon, soon, JJ, soon. I'm just going to sit down. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Perception check for Fane. I mean. You hear a strange noise. You hear a noise that sounds like direction coming from the east. The 
somewhere else initially. Somewhere over here. Uh, I will leave the tent. <laughs> okay. Uh, look at JJ and under my breath go. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're setting fire to the camp. Then we stop them. Oh, Matt, could you, set the, could you set the tent on fire, please? Yep. Okay, so I've got a question. If I take the cast off my hands, will I still be able to use them? Or is it just uh, they're completely immobile? They're immobile because they're healing. Okay. Hearing behind the tent. Well, hold on. Go back. Okay. Go back. Okay, now you can respond to it. All right. I'm sort of dropping the act, and I'm peering behind the tent. Uh, you cannot see behind the tent. You ever heard of a trial by fire, Fane? Uh, I'm going to walk through this area right here. Okay. Try and keep him in eyesight. There's nobody back here, but you see that the back of the tent is on fire. I'm gonna start putting it out. All right, how? I'm gonna take off my long coat and I'm just gonna start stamping out the fire. How? Uh, you can't use your hands. Slide. So I'm gonna sling my coat over me and use it like my forearms. Keep my forearms in the sleeves and just keep stamping down on the fire so that I can like stretch it out with my forearms so that I get a nice taut uh, jacket and then I start stamping it down with my forearms. Okay. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Aha! Whee! Alright. You avoid setting yourself on fire. I didn't do anything for the tent. <laughs> no. Okay. What if I threw my body over it? Would that muffle it? I'm gonna back uh, up and just start. I'm gonna sling my uh, jacket back on. <clears throat> All right. All right. At this point, everybody can see that there's smoke rising from the tent. Uh, I assume somatic components cannot be done while hands are bent. Correct. In this manner. Fuck. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and just start undoing the nails with my feet, just kicking them out. Okay. And then whenever I get most of them kicked out, I'm going to flip the tent over into the water. Okay. What about the rest of you, you guys doing anything? I don't know what I can do. <laughs> nope. I'm Depends keeping an eye out and uh, waiting for someone to get within range before I see what to do next. I'm still playing dead, I don't know if... I mean, I'll help JJ. Okay. Hmm. Alright, as you guys start to move to push the tent into the water... Um... Yeah, this happens. Critical hits. Uh, oh. uh, I don't think that hits. I think that's a miss. All right. Critical hit on Fane and a regular hit on Silva. Boy, here we go dying again. Okay. Mm Twelve damage to Fane. Four damage to Silva. All right, Fane, you take a arrow right to the back. 
and go straight down, yeah. bleeding into the water. Silva, you take a shot in the shoulder. These creatures appear at the top of the snowbanks. All right, let me go ahead and show them. Oh, these people are shit. Okay. And thus... One moment. And so the light burns. Our first combat in Carvanas. Ugh. immediately stand up. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Let me no load items, up. no hands. Let's go. We got this, guys. No items? No, no items. items? No hands? No weapons? Hmm. No help. We'll need... If no there's three of them and there's six of us, we can grapple and immobilize them. Good luck. They also got weapons, buddy. Good luck. I mean, they got bows. Just Hope you bows. don't need a medic. Mm -hmm. oh, not not the healer again. <laughs> Perfect timing. I gotta be back in a second. Okay, so how <laughs> how committed are we to the bit? Not not much for me. I think it's gone by now. Yeah, it's gone. But, I mean, it wouldn't be a bit for me. I'd be trying to fucking you know. Get over and heal him. <laughs> or at least, you know, nurse him. Hmm. So he's not I'm gonna... dying. Like, we can't stay here. They shoot us in the ass nonstop. If we run, we're also fucked. We're just very fucked. Then we need the distance. Okay. <laughs> One of my favorite songs. All right, here we go. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This bandit disappears. Okay, um, I would have probably seen where the shots would have come from, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, would I definitely confirm that there's only two of them up there? Or would I have packed you only You only saw two. two. Well, there was uh, one at the corner here, but... Uh, you only mind. saw two. Okay, I'm going to continue to stealth. I'm going to make my way up the stars. Okay. Um. Hmm. Looks like we can really make a martial check right now, but can I just make it? A... Ah, fuck it. I'm going to um, ready an attack for it. if anyone comes within range. I'm going to kick out at them. Okay. Simon. Um. Gonna um, gonna move here. Seventy feet. Okay. It's my. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, that's all. That's okay. it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over here and uh, dodge. Try to not get hit. Death saving throw. You got it. Fail. One fail. Silva. I'm gonna marshal check. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can we see them? You can see one of them. Okay. Where, where do I find martial checks? If it's not on the, it's not on the skills. It should be at the bottom. If it's not there, then use insight. Oh, I mean, it's well, actually, you. just roll a d20 plus one. Okay, d20 plus one. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I want to know. <laughs> How much health they have? Snow Brigand archers have eight hit points. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to stabilize Fane. How? Uh, Do you have a kit? Do you have medicine trained? I do. Just give me a second. Neither. All right. I'm just. I was just gonna attempt to do something. Uh. Such as. Like break off the arrow, not pull it out, and then just apply. How? Oh, right. I don't have hands. These are all very good questions, Arcadum. I don't know how I would. <laughs> Hey, can I, can I just take off the cast, please? You can, yes. Would I be able to use my hands? Oh, would what? I? If I take it off, would I be able to use my hands? You'd have to see. I can't answer that gonna... question because you don't have medicine trained. You have no idea. I'm going to take off my bandage on my hands. All right, that's an action to do that. All right. Be able to apply cover to uh to fan not cover but another target huh. yeah, I got him. and I'm gonna all right do you have medicine trained yes all right Make me an advanced medicine check. Let's see if you can stabilize him. Gotcha. You got this, big boy. Thank you. Fuck. No, All I right, a five, a five is sufficient to do the following. You can hold pressure on his wound. As long as you do not move or do anything else, you can grant advantage to his death saving throws. All right. All right. Can I make a perception check to see if I hear anyone around me? Yep. <coughs> Basic, I'm guessing? Uh, no. Advanced. That was normal then. Ten? You don't hear anybody around you, uh, at this time. You're 15 feet up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my action to dash and gain another 35 feet to, move to make it to the base of the stairs. Okay. Okay. 
That was 50, it's still 5 feet of movement. And that's my turn. Simon. All right. Simon's Simon's gonna climb this rock. Okay. Yeah. No, no athletics. Mm -hmm. Athletics. Basic athletics check. Oh. All right. Simon <laughs> tries to climb and immediately slips and falls. You can try again okay. though. Again? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the duality this, of man. <laughs> this time, Simon stands on his hands and uses his feet in order to climb. Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent thinking. Good yes, spectacle. Oh. Now I'm gonna try to see. Okay. Check. Yeah. Basic perception. We need a good cover. That's performance. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Well, so he busted it down sexual style. A seven. <laughs> a, a seven is still not really enough. Yeah, that's my turn. Um, I'm gonna, oh, is, can I see anyone else around down here with us? Perception. Oh my god. Stop. Well, I'm gonna also make my way to the other side. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to hide here. Stealth. Here. Fane, death saving throw advantage. You got it. Not a go. All right. So, okay. So here's what's here's what's going down. As Balrock holds pressure on his wound, Fane suddenly lights up. His eyes open. Breath catches in his lungs again. All right, you get your turn. What do you do? Do you think you can walk? Uh, I'll manage. Uh, I'm assuming I am prone, so I will stand up from prone. Yep. Well, actually, don't you get up from prone when it, with the 20, or is that my thing of the wrong thing? You get your... No, you do get to stand up. No, I've done that before. No, you can do that. Go ahead. Go get cover. Um, Anime moment. Go, go to cover. Uh, action, rip off the near wet uh, bandages on my hands. Okay. Uh, perception, see if I can't spot somebody. Okay. That's it. Seven, never mind. It's lucky number. All right, that'll be it. Whoops. Skip this turn. <laughs> Alright, Silva. Uh, how do my hands feel when they're unwrapped? Uh, they ache, but you can move them. Alright, I'm gonna stretch my fingers a little bit. I'm gonna walk over here and grab the sharpest stick I can for an impromptu spear. Okay. So... One, two, three, movement. And then I'm going to move right here. And I guess I'm going to perception check in this direction. Do 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 do.
All right. You think you see movement over here? Work up right and there. And movement over here. And over here. Hold on. There were three places I only installed the two. I saw this spot. Here. This spot. Here. Yep. And here. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna shout to, uh, Simon. <laughs> yes. East. Southeast. South. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Um... Can I take a free action to, uh, just collect myself? Okay. All right. Self-collected. Enemies dying. That's my turn. Rock. Huh. So since I, we have a good idea of where they're coming from, uh, which one of you want me to stick to? Uh, which one of which one of you guys am I sticking to? Your choice. Right. I could. I could just dash over here. I do. You're a bigger target than the person at one health. Yeah. Uh, that's... I'm gonna be honest, I'd much rather them shooting at me than the, uh, other people. I don't know where a good spot would be, though. Well, you would have heard that I was talking about movement down here. Right then. I will come barreling towards this direction. Perception check. Okay. May the gods of wisdom and luck. Please. Fuck you. I'll spit in your face. Nothing. Alright, that it for you? Uh, I can't really do much and I can't see anything to marshal, so no. <clears throat> Simon! Hmm. Yeah. Gonna try to. Uh... You are attacked. Oh. No, oh, I'm attacked. I'm gonna try to <laughs> dodge. Uh, I'm gonna try die. to not die. All right, attacking you with advantage. An arrow zooms right past your cheek as the brigand misses his mark. He was uh, intimidated by the performance earlier. <laughs> try again. <coughs> the fires are making my computer go vroom. Balrock. What? Yeah. This creature jumps out from behind the corner. Welcome to the party. A creature. Right. He will attack you with his hand axe. With advantage. Owie. He will deal three points of little baby damage. Little baby man. I'll just look down at him. The Go. entire rock is on fire all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. And then he will attack you with his sickle. At normal. And will miss. Miss. Okay. I'll flip that out of the way. <laughs> Elsie. Okay. Thirty-five feet of movement. I'm gonna dash as my action. <clears throat> Should be enough. Uh, can I make a check to see if I see, you know, where the shots came from? Because I probably wouldn't have seen it from there. You can see the bandits now. Yeah. Um. Once he comes out, I'm basically pointing him out. Or. You know, standing over him, pointing him out. 
You can actually see them, right, Silver? On the edge there? Like on the map? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see them here. And I also know that you're the people that saw the alcove earlier, at least. I think there could be people there still, so. Mm hmm. Uh, I can't do anything right now. Okay. Simone. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna get closer. And try to make a perception check. Okay. Hmm. Insufficient. Oh, okay. Um. Actual 20. Uh, 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 I'm gonna give uh, Bardic Inspiration to to Silva. Da, 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 da. And, and I'm gonna touch. I'm about to start pummeling this fucker. Alright. Uh, I'll look uh, down here. Okay. If I see more people here. You don't see anything? And then we're moving over here. Hmm. And we're attempting to hide again. Okay. Oh, you don't need to. You have it broken still. Okay. What would you like to do with your action? <clears throat> I'll dodge. Okay. Fane. Uh, fuck. Uh, can I medicine check my hands to see if spell casting or, or using them is going to fuck them up significantly? Do you have medicine trained? No, uh, I have expertise. Oh, well then roll, please. And focus, yeah, so. Fuck! Wow. Uh, We're rolling sadness. dog shit. Well, you don't know for it's certain, fine, but you get the idea fine. that using your hands is possible, but probably not good for them in the long run when they're this injured. But then again, being dead is also not good for your hands, so. It's also not good for your health either. True. Which is why I'm about to pummel this guy and steal his weapons. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> I will instead dodge. I know what to. <clears throat> Silva. Uh, I'm gonna take a book from Simon and I'm gonna climb with my feet. All right, athletics check. Now, could I do acrobatics? Sure. Or is it only athletics? Oh, sweet! Ha ha! Yippee! Wow. And then I'm going to do a sprint jump to get up here by kicking off of this wall right here. I'm gonna then. Jump right. up there. Acrobatics check. Don't fail me now. That's enough. You have a D6. So, Simon, I just run past you, kick off this wall, and now I'm up here. Or probably Whoa. three. Uh, inspiration isn't Life dice. Speed. It's based on your exposure, and it's a reaction, I believe. Correct. So you're in part? What do I see when I'm up here? Uh, you see the bandit. You can make a perception check to see if you see anything else. Do 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 do. Falling prone gives some disadvantage. Perception is before performance. Aha. Oh, nice. You spot the other one. Any bitches? And I'm gonna go. <laughs> I think I did all of my movement, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. See, I was here, and then I kicked off from right here, or I jumped. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go pro. Do you see them? Over here. I point, and then I go prone. Okay. More shooting at Simon. Oh, 
dodge, brother. I'm dodging. Nine damage. Uh, didn't he dodge? Oh, he's dodging. Okay. Disadvantage. Oh, sorry. Let me roll again. I was like, he's not hitting, is he? Okay. Oh, nine damage. <laughs> Whoa. See All right then. All right, Zemon takes an arrow right to the chest and falls over, sputtering blood. Removing this guy's hand axe from my uh, body. I'm gonna raise my arms, I'm gonna start fucking walloping this guy. All right, roll for wallop. Yes. And rolling an unarmed, uh, unarmed attack is just... D20 plus strength, plus proficiency. Okay, okay so plus six. All right. Uh, before I do that, is it fun if I just roll insight under Marshall? Roll that first, yeah. Okay. What's their AC looking like? Of the guy in front of you is AC 15. AC 15? Yep. All right. I'll just roll a saving throw because it's basically the same thing. 15. <laughs> and seven damage. Seven damage! Seven, Jesus. Thank thankfully, I have some armor on, so I'm going to reduce that a slight amount. Also, ow! Oh! You just clobber him into those stones. You got two fists, buddy. I got two fists? Uh-huh. I do it again. <laughs> what is to be doing again? Bonus action. Fuck. That'll miss, though. Those are some nice, nice hacks that you got on you. All right. I'm going to shoot Silva. I'm prone, so... Okay, I'm still going to try and shoot you. Okay. Disadvantage. Jesus. 16 hit you. I believe it does. Seven damage. Ouch, ouch, I'm unconscious. All right, so we'll take another one in the shoulder and goes down. He's going terrible. Yes. Guys, we're trying to take his weapons, please. Uh, this guy, however, doesn't know how well things are going for his allies because this orc just punched him in the face. Let's test that morale. Goodbye. <laughs> take your shot. Good. Okay, attack of opportunity. Let's go. Hit him, big know. boy. Knock the fuck the neck, the neck. Goodbye. No. I'm dashing. No. <laughs> My prey. My prey. I'll see. Right, I don't care what the fuck happens with my hands. I'm ripping the pads off. You got it. Take an Is action. Is there anything around? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything around me that looks like it would hurt if I hit someone with it? A Nothing. Stone or anything. No. One of these boulders might, but you can't really carry that, so. Nothing in your no, immediate vicinity. Just... <laughs> Get that. Your mom just kick the shit out of him. With that pebble. Rogue. He's not a monk. Oh, that's right, you changed it. Yeah, went to rogue. The hell of action drop kick and nemesis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else? <coughs> uh, I'm gonna stay here and think of what to do. Alright. Simon, death saving hmm. throw. Okay. A second. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't see it. Uh... The skull on your character sheet. Over oh, your here. Picture. here. Yeah. One uh... fail. <laughs> As a key. Mm. Um. Can I shift like this? If you shift, you automatically tear through your binds. Oh. But remember, that would reveal what you are to your companions. I know. 
Would you like keep already. the binds? Would you I'm like gonna... to reveal your power? No, I'm moving over here instead. Mm. Shoot. Kill him. We'll mm. continuously attempt to hide. And dodge. Hiding and dodging? Wow. Yeah. Alright, what I do know. you got? Oh boy. Not very much. Uh, 35 feet to here. <laughs> I dislike this greatly. Do you have healing word? I do have healing word, but I really don't feel like uh, peekabooing my head up and getting shot. <laughs> to be oh, honest. Oh, All right. You got covered. Um, I will begin. No, I have no movement. Nope, that's it. Next turn. Death I'll saving throw. Where do I that saving throw? Skull over your icon on your sheet. The skull over my icon on my sheet. Ooh, one pass. The first actual pass. <coughs> this one will move. Do I see Maze King? Yeah, you see your allies. We, we need to kill him. I want to. Ki I want to kill him. Oh, go ahead. I don't want to die. Yeah, but I'm kind of gonna need a little bit of help with that because he keeps running away like a bitch. <laughs> bitch man. Oh, also he'd be there. Okay then. Hey, he'd be there. Yeah. You can make that. Thirty feet. 30 feet. Hello. Capital D colon. Hot, 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 hot. Hmm. I see that you want to kill me. Oh, goodbye. And this time with vigor. 24. Yeah. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> Uh-oh. I knock him the fuck out, dude. I <laughs> your ex. As I he tries I to run, to you punch him right in the back of the head. Oh! Ooh. A donkey punch? Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Would I have enough time to grab his weapons, or would that take time? That takes time. I'll see. Okay. Okay, um... That's 55. That's a drag tool. I'm gonna pick up this branch just, and I'm going to this sort of... Uh, oh, meant to just my action. Oh, I'm gonna pick up this branch and hold it like a... Like a mediocre club. Like a... Shillelagh?! Oh my god. What? No, no. Chamber with... Chamber no. Sudrid, he would have the Shillelagh. I didn't take it for just this reason. <gasps> oh, Why? Man. Because it would be awesome? It would be. But oh, I'm sorry. Me. I didn't know you were Irish. I just wanted to make fucking <laughs> cool <laughs> things with your culture. You... Whatever. I love and oh, appreciate you don't, it. You don't want to... I'm Northern Irish. I have no culture. Cuck and no hiring. Hon and no Lafferty. That's 15 feet of movement. I'll say here. In fact, there's two Irishmen, and I didn't get one shillelagh. Absolutely disgusting. Well, if you want to grab this like a bonus thing, I wouldn't say no to it. Silence, Billy! One <laughs> pass. Let's go. He didn't roll up one. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! That would be tragic if he died again. Please don't <laughs> curse it on us. Yeah. Him, I beg you. Not again. Not again. Not the sequel. <laughs> 
Moment moving two. back. <laughs> you literally just running back and forth, dodging. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what I'm doing there. <laughs> One to four there. Can't like how she said, I run back. <laughs> I'm going back. And we take it back, back, back. He, he just aggressively told me he wants to kill things. Hmm. And I kind of want to see, but I don't want to participate. In that, so. <laughs> oh, no, you. you oh, you're, you're a, you're you're a voyeur, huh? You're a watcher? <laughs> you like watching? You're just about to miss it. Yeah, I mean, I miss it. I, want, I, I it. want to see it, but I don't want to participate. So, okay. Yes, yes, yeah. Peek <laughs> around the corner. Oh, damn, he's going ham on that dude. Yeah. Alright, that's it for you then. Wait, actually, wait, let me measure how far I could potentially go. Not that far. Yeah. We're doing the same things we have done so far. More. Alright. Yep. Rain. Alright, climb the rock. Climb in the rock. Climb in the rock. Uh, Make acrobatics. me an athletics or acrobatics check. That Maybe. looks good. Climb in the rock. Right. Fain will scramble up the rock, <coughs> run, slide to Simon, uh, Simone's side, look at the wounds, start muttering to himself. Uh, action uh, medicine to try and stabilize. Roll it. Uh, that is enough uh, to give him advantage on his next uh, death saving throw. Uh, bonus action as I'm uh, putting pressure on the wound and trying to sort of cease the bleeding. Look up towards JJ and... Uh, from under the band er, from where the bandages were, you see just a faint pulse of light down along the tattoos, and I will point towards JJ and say Kanasaha, and cast healing word. One d four plus three. One Bye. moment. One moment. Hmm, that's weird. It's not letting me update your. Exposure. Your exposure. Uh, I should be on two from that, because uh, I have one permanent from Brandon. Weird. Mm. I have to look into that. That's what those bars on the top are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that'll be everything. Silva will awaken. I'm awake. Good morning. I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. I'm not awake. I can see something. No problem. Okay. Throws his fucking head into the sky. <laughs> There's a cockroach in the pool. Looks like the poor trap never learned how to swim, eh? I believe it was here. Hold on. Yeah, right here. And... I... Uh... Marshall checked these guys. So... Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna ready an action, and that action is gonna be if anything gets close to me, I'm gonna shank it with my stick. You got it. Pokey poke poke. Hmm. Our friend died. He's not dead. He's just unconscious. Bye. He's about to die though. Perfect. The orc scared the buff. That's just oh, the yeah. morale I want to see here. Uh, so, hey, with my turn, can I grab his hand axes and kill him with them? Yeah. I like to tear off his head. Okay. Yep. Boiled. Bye! <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Alrighty, and with that, you have successfully defeated... The Bandits. Well All done. All me. All me. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> or tent's on fire and someone's still unconscious. Unfortunately, um, oh, no. you, you are able to stabilize Simon. Uh, unfortunately, your tent is lost. Unfortunately, we are. 
yeah, I didn't think we were able to save the tent no matter what without any hands or so. I just started pummeling this guy with casts. Oh Drops down. I want to see that. You should have been there. Oh, I see you got him. Very nice. Yeah, fucking killed him. With a little bugger. I'm gonna kick over his corpse. Does he have anything else? Uh, I only had these uh, hand axes. Uh, this fucking weird looking knife he tried to stab me with. He has a hand axe, uh, he has a sickle, he has leather armor. Wow. And, oh and this armor. And he also has five silver pieces on him. Uh, who was the one who was betting about the silver? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking Is this an sickle. archway. I killed him, I should yeah. take two. Okay. You can keep that, I'll take this again. Oh. <clears throat> I'll take the hand axe. Was it only one, or...? He had one hand axe and oh. one sickle. Oh. I'm gonna hide the Ken's sickle. Gone. Hand's gone. Yeah, I could've... <coughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think you could save the burning tent, did you? I'm gonna uh, rewrap my hands, since I didn't even use it. <laughs> Shame you, uh... Unfortunately, you'll be unable to rewrap your hands because thou the salve is pretty much fallen yeah. out and useless. You'll have to change the bandages. <laughs> Hold on, I got you, pal. And we have enough fabric to make new bandages. I mean, look at all this lush, all of these lush leaves. Yeah, I started looking at the leaves. Why are any of them? Someone's hand, even. Any of them look up to par? <laughs> So, Considering that you are not trained in nature nor medicine, you have no idea. No, I was about to say, what medicine can I, uh, I'm being like a regional ah, native. Now, advanced roll medicine, please. You got it. 50. Can I also roll? So, these, uh, these leaves could make suitable bandages, um, because they do not look like they have any poisonous fibers or anything like that. Um, you also know that there are some flowers growing in the center of that arch, that can ease pain, and that perhaps you might be able to create a makeshift, although not very effective, salve to replace the ones that were uh, torn off in the sake of combat. So I'll need some medicine checks to see if you can make some decent salves. How many? Uh, just one for now. Alright, that's one. You can make another one. Then. Uh, that's also good enough. By no means is this going to be any sort of permanent fixture, but it will, of course, uh, for now, at least hold over everybody that tore their salves out, uh, at least for now. However, there's one very big problem. The battle has left the party exhausted, but more importantly, your tent has been destroyed. As have your rations. Hey. So, you're going to have to find some way to survive for the next three days in the biting cold of the ice flows. I have I mean, that cooked fruit, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you want to eat it. Yeah, we have two of those. I, I walk up to Barak. <laughs> Barak, can you eat this? Uh, I mean, it was pretty stinky last time I can check again. Now don't, it's good. don't eat it. Let him eat it himself, as he wants to drive its poisonous. What options do we have? You or, eat it yourself. Well, shut the fuck up for like three seconds and let me look. He's gonna, he's just gonna snatch it from you. <sighs> Thirteen. How much do I get off of this? Is it still inedible? Or... It doesn't look or smell very good. Yeah, it kind of smells like shit. I don't think these are good food. I mean, we could eat this guy. No. Yeah, somebody you keen could. on using somebody keen on using his armor? I can use it. <laughs> Where does I it like to stop one of them mm -hmm. with bows? I'm gonna see if anything is not burned. Huh? Angry. 
All right, Mazuki, make me an investigation check. Oh boy, my best stat in action. Let's go. Where is it? Yeah. Ain't nothing here. <laughs> um, do these berries look edible? Well, you have neither nature nor medicine, so you have no idea. Do you want me to come and help you look? I found some berries. All right, hold on, I'll be up there. Hey, sure, I'm gonna try to check here. I'll be, I'll be back. Did anyone take the armor off the body? Uh, yeah. All right, me. who's wearing the armor? Yeah, me. You? Yeah. All right. It's leather. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. I'm adding it to your to your person at this time. There you go. It's equipped now. All right. Can I see if there's anything on the body that might have been overlooked by the others? Investigation check. Fifteen. Nothing of any interest that you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you real quick. Hold on. Just gonna start sniffing them. Okay, do you have nature or medicine? I have medicine. Make me a basic medicine check, which means you roll an advantage if you have skill focus. Oh, skill focus? Is that like a specific thing, or do I have uh, to just have proficiency if, in it? If you had it, you'd, you'd have it. So yeah, just roll medicine. That's an advantage, or...? Just regular. Okay. 18. Okay. With an 18, <clears throat> uh, these berries are not edible. They are poisonous. Eating them will cause massive diarrhea. Oh. Uh, oh, my stomach feels so weird. Probably mark it as a weight loss supplement. Are they that way. Eat or no? Terrible. I thought it was just due to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the axe in my stomach, you know, you know. But anyways, it could be way worse. Well, Can I try and make a perception check as to, like, I know they ran away, but just keep an eye out to see if uh, they ain't coming back with more. Okay. Can I fill the water skin I have with the water? Yep. Oh. We're doing that, and then we go back as well. Alright, so what are you guys gonna do now? Alright. It's been one day, right? One I day. have an idea. Yeah. We go, we huddle up, and we don't move. For the next couple of days. Well, I mean, we kind of need to eat, drink, do the. Oh well, yeah, we huddle up to next to the water, but we use as little energy as possible. Yeah, Here's the thing. Will come back. What if that just happens again? What are we gonna do then? We're just gonna be sitting ducks. We give them what we have. Give them what we, we don't have, have any nothing. options at the moment. We have nothing. Them. They burnt it all. I really think the they're whole... just gonna fucking ask? They didn't ask the first time. They didn't that arrow into your chest teach you a lesson? Alright, wise guy, what do you say? You want us to go and start walking aimlessly when we don't know- I mean, we have a map. We, do have we, still a map. Have we don't map? know where to go. You have the map. Oh. Yeah. Where do we go? Huh? Okay, so we have no food, we have nothing to travel with, the nearest civilization's two days away, no matter what. The only thing that I can think about is that they said they'd be back in three days. We don't know if we can fully trust them. Other than that, what do you say? Designate got no edible food. Set up a relay. Get clean water. Get more fucking leathers for bandages. Do you not understand? All right. Go ahead. Get your hands working then. I, think we'll I do, I do agree agenda. with the Druid. Uh, you realize you'd be stuck in the fucking snow. Idea. If it well, wasn't staying, for me. Staying here is a bad idea. Here's the thing. You have their healing on you, right? 
mentioned that like multiple times. How about you just heal your hands? Let's spit on the floor. It will Excellent freeze. Reaction. It will freeze. What? Well, oh. Yeah, why don't you heal your hands? Oh. That That's actually a genuine question now that I'm wondering. Because then we would at least have someone that can do something. The rest mm. of us, like, what do you want us to do? I'm only good Go for ahead. and shoot. And take a hitch. Then we'll take a minute. And then walk back. Uh, could I spend a spell slot to try and get Balrog's hands into a usable state where he will not be under stress of fucking breaking them permanently? Unfortunately, you do not know that spell. I will. I know enough to get you back on your feet. I'm not a miracle worker. Oh. Alright. Let's go, help me. They're arguing. No it's choice is good. Man. Going outside. It's terrible. Elsie! No. I'm gonna just tie no? the guy's head to like the side of my You're belt. You're being summoned. I'm gonna ignore him. I'm gonna rip uh, what clothes he has. I'm gonna try, try to make a makeshift sling for a weapon. Balrog, you got those hand axes? Uh, it's only one. Uh, and, uh, sure. I'm keeping it. Let's go hunting. Gotcha. Is there a check for it, or...? No, you can make, like, a cloth sling. That's fine. Me and Balrock go hunting. Well, I don't think we should probably go in this condition. I feel like leaving immediately after fighting is probably a bad idea. We have no food and we didn't eat yesterday. We, we did eat yesterday. Did we? Yeah. You ate your so... berries, remember? <clears throat> no, he ate them. <laughs> yeah, we had soup. I don't know what you all did, but I ate Oh, some. yeah, we had soup yesterday. Yeah. I mean, we could just take some time, maybe, you know, actually regain your strength. I mean, Frank, you're, you're, you're kind of looking like shit. Don't look matter. Half dead. I will be dead if we don't get food. Yeah, but here's the thing. What if what we're hunting kills you instead? Circle of life. Well, I prefer my circle of life being me at the top, whatever, the, however that <laughs> analogy goes. You what know. do you suggest, big man? Ride it like a unicycle. <laughs> life's, <okay. laughs> life's a pyramid. <laughs> life's a pyramid, and oh. I'm at the top. <laughs> I want to be there. All right. Then we go hunting tomorrow. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to cut this guy up with the sickle. C cut him up? Yes. Could you explain in more detail what you mean by that? I want to strip him of his flesh. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Simon, yeah. Uh, she's just, she's just, she's just slicing him up, bro. I pure yeah, hurry up! I'm hungry, hungry man. Mm, never mind. <laughs> sure is a lot of cannibalism going on right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not starving. They're they're yeah, slicing him up to eat him. What what are you doing there? Mm, you wish you to, help to sit down or do you wish there. to argue with the rest up there? I'm not uh, starving. Here. Human leather. <laughs> Human leather. <laughs> that is Spain. Where'd you go? Mm. Or no. Oh. <laughs> What you want? We go and hunting. Good luck. Uh huh. Well, my my thing froze again. Yeah, the tea is uh dangerous. Yeah. Let's hope they what find that. What do you want? You can just use X. Just point yourself. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Well, well, my thing just froze. You have any ways to uh? Cultivate food or get us food or like make those berries over there non fuckery. Double checking. No. Um I can 
Make things grow faster, I can't purify them. Or create food. Wasn't hey. necessary. Sorry about that. Balrock. Did those fruit just taste bad, or did they actually do something to your gut? Yeah, my gut feels all weird. Mm. They also do something about shitting or something. Well, not not those berries that we looked at, but the fruit on the tree next to where the tent was. Oh, yeah, I know those do some shitting. Mm. Those do well. some shitting. <laughs> So I, I, pain. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not vegetarian, are you? No, but I'm not going to eat that man if that's what you think. Oh no, we're not eating a man. We're, we're going hunting. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. All right. Watch. So it sounds like the party wants to hunt some food slash commit an act of horrible cannibalism. Yes. I see. Yep. So let me unbox I mean, I that for suggesting you. It. Um, I was all suggesting it. Like, hunting is totally fine. Cannibalism and evil act. Yep. I was just suggesting it. That's it. Okay. I'm just watching. Who's going I... Who's going hunting? Yes, me. Me and, uh, me and Silva, I think. All right. Fane will come along to avoid the horrific cannibalism. Yeah. All right, Elsie joining If us. I can find... If I can find enough rocks, at least maybe <coughs> wound something, I will definitely come along and try to hunt. Also, hey, maybe some... I can make a deterrent with its head. You got some rocks over here. I got a sharp, pointy stick. You got a hand axe. Okay. Can you, so, sir? The four of you need to make me survival checks to see if you can find some food. All right. These are basic checks. I got 15. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, you're not really going to be able to hunt much with just a hand axe and some smattering of other makeshift weapons. But, fortune is on your side, and you are able to find that in the tundra, there are some places that still have food. Most notably, you are able to stumble upon some roots and berries that are edible, and you're able to collect them. You see, these are the ones that don't give you the shits. Yeah. It's uh, not right. uh it's not ideal, but you are able to eventually gather up enough food for uh for one day. Do the same thing. Well we take the skull off and just you know, put it on a pike. If we okay. can see how fl okay. fresh it is, you know. Hold on. While you guys are doing that. Uh meanwhile, oh. back at the cannibalism. Oh, oh. Mazakin, are you going to cook that man and eat him? Well, I'm gonna prepare it as best as I can. I'm not gonna eat it just yet. Okay, you butcher a human being. Nice. What's that one yeah. game called? Cooking Companions or something like that? <laughs> I think Cooking I know which mama. one you mean. Uh, Simon, hmm. did you, do you do anything? Yeah, yeah. That's a nice hit. I think I'm gonna take it. This time for real. Uh, that head is already in the possession of the orc, unfortunately. Yeah, it's mine. He's wearing yeah. it on his belt. The head oh, is uh, not oh, there anymore, yeah? Yeah, it is not. It is very much torn off of his shoulders. <laughs> Wait, would, would you like I'm gonna to... Yes? Take a body part and make a, like a sign with a stick. Okay, which body part are you going to use? Um... Um... I don't know. A hand? A hand. All right. Cool. Y'all ever hear of Rocky Mountain Oysters? Uh, well... All right. I can scratch my back now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> His nails are quite long. What is going on? What do you mean? All right. So the four of you guys return. Hey, I'll return you guys together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Fane is. You guys did a pretty good job. Uh, pretty good job hunting. Not bad. If we got some food, we gathered it up. It was not bad. And then, what the fuck is that? I, I was joking. I meant to save them for later if we didn't have any food. We got food right here. Well, I'm not going to eat it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
stick in a hand. Okay, well, <laughs> good news is you guys don't have to eat the person because we got. Well, you don't food. have to eat the person. You can scramble your little berries that you hunted. Actually, we got some roots too. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> you know what? Y'all eat the person, we'll eat normal food. Uh, Simon, I, I, I know I just met you, but I know you ain't this weird. I cuddled with a fucking cannibal. I cuddled with a cannibal! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, dude, that would make a great campaign name, Cuddles and Cannibals. <laughs> cuddles and Cannibals. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Balrog's asleep again. He passes out in the snow. Bane will put as many uh, plausibly sane people between himself and the cannibal he cuddled. I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> Here, I got you. Go. I'm not a cannibal. Start scratching his back with his another person's hand. <laughs> Bane will. Look, to be walk. fair, he tried to kill us. Wash his yeah. hands, put water on his face, and pray to whatever god the druids worship that this is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, nope, it's only getting worse. The green faith laughs. Get over <laughs> it. Get over <laughs> it, like that. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, go, I'm gonna go to the corner here and try to wash what I cut off. Alright. Yeah, come back around. All the way around the rocks, <laughs> and I'm gonna go up to the cut up man, and I'm just gonna start praying for him. Uh, as Mazakins is dipping the meat, Fane is like trying to wash his face, and he just <laughs> eats his bits of red. <laughs> she, she, she makes, she makes eye mind. contact. She makes eye contact, and then she smiles in like a very grin way. You can see a sharp too. What the fuck? Fane will dude? remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm healing got... people, not killing people and eating them. This is concerning. Uh, and if you got a pike, I can put this guy's head on. He's gonna unbuckle his, uh, his head from his belt. Uh, Paul Rock. Uh, he, Dux, he, there's we, a stack we... he can make one. Rook, we need a good deterrent. I'm burying what? the I'm burying the strips yeah. of human flesh and bodies. <laughs> there's no the flesh there. Uh, uh, how how are you doing that? Uh, I'm happen? going to just start. <laughs> Digging at the dirt at what I can with your feet. With, with my stick. Yeah, sure. With my feet. Okay. <laughs> All right. This meat's nice and washed. Yeah. Why? Why'd you wash it up there? Why'd you wash it in the best parts of the water? That's drinking water. That's the only spot that's suitable for drinking. You were down there. You didn't even see anything. Not anymore. You we realize if you put up water. a deterrent and those two come back and there's a deterrent outside their lovely little cave, they will leave or they will kill us. Well, yeah, and I'll just kill them again. Like you saw, not, you not, got rid of this guy. Not the hunters, the Johan and Jonathan. We all just you know, told them they were hunters. Are we not supposed to defend ourselves? What do you mean? Fane will walk what, up sit towards... like ducks and let them try and fight me? Fuck no, I'm gonna kill them. Fane will walk and up And I'll make Balrog, sure that they know I'm gonna kill the rest of them. Who's like a good two feet taller than him and will look up. <laughs> Defending yourself is fine. Four feet. Leaving morbid totems is going to scare off the people who we need to survive. Yeah, but here's the thing. They're gonna be gone for four days, Fane. Yeah. Four days, I'm telling you. Mm. I think that we'll be fine. True. I think we're gonna have a bit time for cleanup. If you're so worried about, well, <laughs> I don't like your cleanup. <laughs> mm. I guess you're fortunate that um, you did wake up again after that first shot, aren't you? And we're also all fortunate that this one and JJ aren't dead. Otherwise, they'd be in the fucking river as you're washing their meat. Indeed. Would be waste if you don't use it. Yeah, I mean... You can you can kind of hear in her voice that she's just trying to creep you out and make fun of you in a way. Reduce, reuse, and recycle doesn't apply to fucking bodies. Mm-hmm. Why not? 
You slaughter animals and eat them? I, I don't. I let other people do that. Well, that's your preference, then, not mine. <laughs> then why are you getting all the rush for doing it? Cross his arms. You can chew on your <laughs> roots and eat your berries. Feeling very ganged up on by the creepy small woman and the eight foot tall horde. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so, a like, little bit smaller than you. It's not my first choice, but I will say I prefer actual food. That's fine. And he will slowly back up. Sometimes. Jesus. What a whiny druid. Sit over here. <laughs> what a whiny druid. Can you some cuddles? <laughs> you should probably go cuddle him again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just rub all that blood and core all over him. That's never that's heard a person. That's a Reddit post if I ever heard one. I cuddled a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> Today I fucked up by cuddling a cannibal. <laughs> I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> but how much what? food would this be in terms of like days? Hey, what a cannibal is? But I'm a cannibal. Uh, how much? Uh, how much? How much food did I get from, from the guy? Uh, how much? How much? How many rations can you make out of the butchered human being? No. Exactly. How much? For, how many rations do I have? Did I get? I just did get, did I get at least one? The food that you gathered is enough for one day. If you properly butcher a human being uh, and preserve them properly, you could get easily two weeks out of a person. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You wanna know something? Dehydration oh. is probably the worst, probably the fastest way to die out in the wilderness. Well, I got water. Yeah, but look, all that blood and it's all nasty now. Gross. It's a hot, it's a hot spring. It's gonna, I don't know, sanitize itself or something. I don't. Know. It'll probably be fine. All right. So, at this point, um, the sun starts to get low again, as you just finished hunting and fighting and butchering and tearing the heads off of, doing things like that. Yes. What are you guys gonna do for shelter? The rock, probably. As Mezzakeen comes closer, <laughs> I'm just gonna go away instead. Ah, oh, yeah, free space for me. Perfect. Hmm. So, should we chance to try to make a fire? Tent. Could just try to make another tent. I want that whole building. Well, uh, what's the blush? Or the brush, yeah. Is there enough here to like make a somewhat okay home? Or not even home? Not, like... not really. Uh, how about this bush over here? Well, sleeping under the rock's fine, but it's not going to be like temperature controlled or anything. But thankfully, uh -huh. it's pretty warm in here because of the hot springs. Hmm. I mean, if you're comfortable with sleeping on the floor, then I don't see the issue. Except in worse conditions. So. Yeah. I'll go and get my firewood. All right. Okay. So, for the interest of time, you gather up your firewood, you bring it back, so the party is making a fire? Yes. All right. Yes. Make a fire, bring it over here. Don't you guys sleep out under the tent? They're wrong. We are the ruffians. Big ass that's, fire, holy that's, shit. That's, that's quite a fire. Oh no. We don't need the war. All right. We're stomping. <sighs> All right, same watches as before. Yeah, I'll be going first this time. Sure. Again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, each watch goes by, nothing happens. The next day rises. All right, what are you guys gonna do for food? Hmm. Hunt. Uh, I, I would food. that be considered a long rest or whatever the new thing is? Uh, that would be considered a short rest. 
Oh, okay. well, shit. Hmm. I'll take your six hit points away, I guess. I mean, I don't know how. Type six and, uh. I got it. Damage it. How do we show the rest of my stupid. Cool. Alright. Mm, I also would have, uh, well, cooked the meat when we had the fire, so. Oh! It stays good longer. So you would like to cook the human meat? Yes. Alright. <laughs> 1d12 plus 1. Alright. So make me some more survival checks if you want to go hunting again. I'm going hunting. Yep. Mm. Okay. I'm going to. Drop those survival Drop checks. Mm. Hitting the top. 19, let's fucking go. Nice. With that, somehow, you guys are able to fell a deer, which gives you at least a two weeks worth of rations. We'll oh. be forward. Yeah. This is bringing us back. Sorry. And... All right. And we return. So you return and you cook up an excellent amount of venison. Make me survival checks to see if you can get you a leather stock. Gotcha. Boom. A stock of leather it is. So you've got some leather now that you can sell or make something out of. Can we do anything with the antlers? Make a bow. That could be useful. Um, you could if you had the feet. The crafting feet. Hmm. Maybe we could just save it for later. No, just... You could save them, though. Those are valuable. The antlers are valuable. Yeah. They're also sharp. Yeah, they're a pretty good weapon, even. Regardless, you know. All right. With that, At the end of the day. you've got plenty of food. <laughs> and so, the fourth day arrives. Wait, uh, Fane reminds them to take down the awful blood totem that they have set up somewhere to ward off intruders. And we also don't have to worry about eating a person now. I think you need to calm down, Mr. Whiny Guy. Hmm. I mean, whose first resort was it to cook a person? Yours. Uh, no, I, I merely suggested it. They acted upon it. <laughs> Is it yeah, this point why wouldn't you? that at the edge of the howling wind on the morning of the fourth day, you hear a, <clears throat> Oi there, friends! Oh, there you go. Mm. Brock's gonna just hide the head, like, behind his back or something. Oh, no. Jonathan, Jonathan Keel will wave over the side of the cliff. I've got good news! Oh, oh you do? Hear that. Indeed! Uh, good news. We made a killing at the spice news. market, and we were able to get some extra supplies for you. I love good news. Come on and follow. Bad news. Come on and follow us back to our camp. Aye, aye. Can I inside him? Sure. Oh yes. Well. I'm still holding my hands behind my back. Uh, this dog will say, "Oh boy, I can't wait to get back to camp. There's more bacon there now. I for one can't wait to watch these individuals slowly deal with the coming crisis that they don't know anything about." <laughs> Man, what adorable mm. little puppies. What we got adorable a deer. Dogs. You found a deer, did you? Yeah. Uh, see, I told you, Johan, they're going to be fine. I was just worried. What if they were attacked by bandits? We were. What? <laughs> I'm just I'm just holding the head behind me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not revealing it yet. Hey, uh, are you uh, all right? We are on for us. We managed we to just, talk to him. We talked to him. Very nicely. Well, I'm glad to see that you're none the worse for wear. Come now. Jonathan has taken the liberty of getting you some gear and weapons as well. Oh, gear and weapons. Hides the, hides the fucking, the, 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 the axe further back. 
I'm gonna uh, yeah, the berries and stuff them in my coat pockets. All right. And with that, knowing that they're diuretics, Jonathan Keel and Johan Kalokept will take you back to their encampment where they will see that you are fully outfitted and you can prepare for the next section of your journey. Because as it just so happens, Jonathan and Johan have a request and repayment of for their good deed. We got four silver. However, you will have to find out what that deed is and what that request is next time on Bound and Broken. Yeah. Oh. We're not dead yet. Man. Hey. First credit of the campaign, first zero HP of the campaign. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, Whoever we died first. Whoever uh, betted on the uh, <coughs> chamber going down first. Congratulations. <laughs> no, nah, it was character death, not a dude. Yeah, technically all of us died first. Anyway, what'd and you Simon guys think? Simon died first, actually. That oh, was had... a lot of fun. Did you guys I have a good time? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I have a yeah. here. I want to do a big shout out to um, the map makers and like Hades and all those people that really helped me like get all this together because it it looks amazing. Like we have better weather effects wind effects, active sound effects, new music. I've been really excited to, to show it off to people, so. It's really cool. A, Everything looks fucking... really, really nice. Hey. Baller, dude. I like the dogs. I especially the dogs like the wind effect that mm -hmm. was on the um, first map. He pulled that off. Yep. That was pretty sick. Yeah. Can you update my token to the one I sent? What? The token I sent. You put chambers on, not mine. Yeah, you put my fancy token on and no one else's. Oh my fucking god. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> supremacy. How dare you. <laughs> Except when I got immediately crit and you know then. <laughs> you should, your token fine. just looked too good. I am like, hey. big brain time. Time to go prone so that they don't shoot at me. Get shot. Goes prone, get shot. <laughs> I mean, it gives them a worse chance at shooting you, so it's always worth it. Uh... Just remind me next time. I don't have it saved. That's fine. I mean, you, you could have also, uh, you know, dodged. Gives them the same chance and you're not prone. Anyway, yeah, thanks true. for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for all yeah. the uh, submarinos. Let me see if there's any fan art. There there's is. plenty of it, actually. Plenty. Plenty, you say? <laughs> we got oh. fan art. We got fan art. I'm looking. We got Finert. We got Furt. Oh, wow. There actually is a lot. All right. Give me just a second. Let me switch over to that so we can showcase that off. I can't believe we got Fart, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm... I realized how much non-lethal I do, and I was like, hmm, I could just pummel these guys to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you do you a lot. You have a pretty high strength score. Yeah. Are we good to close Foundry? All right. Yeah, you can close it now. First up is Fane by Nara. Very cool. Yeah. Very Dark anime villain. Let's go. Oh, well, thank God you didn't die. Well, thank God. But I had to make Nara <laughs> draw another art. <laughs> Fane by Egg. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's by me. Yes. Look at them tattoos and the frog. Oh, look at them tats. Alternative talkies by Waymaker. Yeah. They, they were there. done. They deserve to be seen. Indeed. Another Orker frog, Griffin. <laughs> Can you They're finish that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I hate it. Also, <laughs> also, Waymaker posted the rest of the backup talkies. Those are awesome. <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> Edward Elric. <laughs> That's nice. McCree oh my god, McCree. Jesus Christ. I really <laughs> like that. Uh, I really like that one. But I like Balrock's <laughs> one a lot as well. Bro, this and one. Then, and then, and this, then. This one's so angry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so disappointed Urgh. and angry. Urgh, uh. I'm so mad. Ball rack sleeping. Ho. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get it. I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the who? Ooh. Uh, 
the who fucking slash. I get. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. That's really well There done. are only two mm -hmm. things important in life. What's that? Tasty <laughs> treats and pets. Right you are, Billy. Yes. <laughs> Wholesome dog content. Splendid. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. <laughs> I, I love that. Really. <laughs> it's whatever you got it to go away. We were petting the dogs. I was like, <laughs> you just wake up and we're just petting you now. Oh. Uh. Is... Are, are you regret? Are you regretting that yet? Don't worry. I've just I have really short arms. I'd like to strip him of his flesh. Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. What about <laughs> their legs? They don't need those. <laughs> that is true. They don't need them. Like, they don't need them anymore. Him. He doesn't need anything on his body anymore. He's dead. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Did you know the shit. best part to start with on the body is the glutes? Oh. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, the animated. It's animated. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Holy oh, shit. Goodness. Oh, I, I really like, like these, man. <coughs> well done, Are Casey. You? Thank you, Casey. Oh, shit. My bad. Sorry for the volume in the background. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subs there, Silver Siege and Saucy Brun. I saw that. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. I have a game in approximately one hour. So I'm going to get ready for that. And that game is uh, The Forgotten City, which also takes place in the same continent, same setting of all the new games. So I hope to see you guys there. See you next time. Later. Later.